Eep. Good afternoon, Solar and Cabby, and what, what is this game is it new? Do you like it? I mean, we're not playing a video game. We're, we're looking at video games. Uh, we're, we're, we're just gonna, rather than playing games, we're just gonna look at them today. That's what I decided. I decided we'd, we'd fuck around a little bit on Keymailer and maybe find something cool. Yeah. That's that's where I'm at right now. Map content update is done. We now we have the epilogue two update. You mean for for the Noita? That's good. On oh on run fast, nice. Well, very good. Keeping up, keeping up. Hello, hello, everybody. All right, we're just gonna get started. Um, I don't know. Should I should I get a like a heat map click map thing going? I've never found anything on Keymailer that I would be interested in, and they actually, uh, and they would actually send me a key. I feel that so much. Solar. <laughs> There's been like one or two games ever where I'm like, "Wow, let's play that," which is kind of why we're gonna fuck around and find out today. Anthony, welcome on in. Yeah, we're we're gonna try some stuff that uh, you know that maybe maybe we'll find some hidden gems. Maybe we'll we'll find some some duty. Uh, you never know, but the the idea is we're we're going to we're gonna take something out of Keymailer today, and we're gonna we're gonna play it. That's the that's the game plan. We're gonna find something. I might get like a click heat map map going, or maybe like people can just scream in chat what they want me to look at. Um, but there's there's definitely some stuff jumping out at me. So let's let's get let's get going. I got nothing to wait on. We're gonna so th this is Keymailer. For those of you who don't know what Keymailer is. It is a uh, a website uh, to host indie devs to try and get their games out there to content creators. And uh, the idea is you get a free copy of a game, and you gotta you gotta advertise it. And um, yeah, it's 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 kind of like that uh, symbiotic relationship that you're looking for. Um, now, Keymailer is a little strange, because a lot of it ends up being, like, very, very small teams with low budgets, sometimes even, like, one-person teams. Um, so, you know, not not every game is going to be, like, a blockbuster. So I, I would request that we all be respectful. You know, it's it's funny to to see <laughs> the struggle, and it's it's understandable, and we might even play some of those games. Where where maybe they're they're not like the tippiest top of quality, but we're we're at least we're here to have fun, okay? We're not here to make fun of people. We're here to have fun. So I, I want that to be known. Um, and fun can be found in many forms. So yeah, that's that's what I want to start off with. And all that said, there's some fucking sick ass games that appear out of here sometimes. So like that's the thing too. Dexter, welcome on in. We're going to open up with my keys, the keys that I've got available to me. I've already declined a couple because I, I wasn't super interested in them. But there are some, like, there's some sauce here, for sure. So, chat, the, the first game that we've got here is Auto Sale Life Fresh Start Campaign 1. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
<laughs> Hello, Andy. Well, come on in. Bruh, look at this. <laughs> look at that! <laughs> the, the underglow is... It's Big Gregor? Was that guy's name Big Gregor? Looks like GTA 6 came early. Hell yeah, Skrelpoid. Alright. That's, uh, that's auto-sale life, okay? What we're gonna do is, I've, I've just decided now, I'm gonna make a straw poll, okay? We're gonna make a straw poll live, and we'll have different games on the straw poll, and people can decide whether we should play it or not, and the top top three games we'll play today, or something like that. So let's, let's go over to straw poll really quick. Um, I'm gonna get my own music going again. There we go. And... So that's, that's the first option. Is this where I want to be? Okay, yeah, okay. Um... What should we play today? Top three, get played. Look at that, I already, already had that title ready. We're not doing an image. <laughs> Okay, uh, Auto Sale Life is gonna be the first option on that list. And we're gonna, we're gonna head back to here. We're gonna take a look at our other key options. So Auto Sale Life, that's the first game that we could play today. We've also got Maniac. Speaking of GTA, this is literally GTA, but it's, uh, it's like a Survivor-like. So, kinda cool looking. People were recommending this one to me, actually. So this this one's like pretty high on my list to play actually. So here we go. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. The rebels. <laughs> the troublemakers. <laughs> the troublemakers. That's one way of putting it, I guess. Dude, look at the shmovement. Actual shmovement. <laughs> Doug, man. <laughs> Maybe, Andy. It's possible. Is this game single player only? I have no idea, Ophelia. To get busted. I have no idea. Ooh, the Watch Streak Duke. Very nice. Sorry about the ads, by the way. I wish I could just remove them forever, but they're just gonna keep using them. And Gamba ads, of course, are just weird. Wow, they just hijacked that tank. Huh. Alright, so this is, this is another game that we could totally play. Looks cool. Yeah, it it, lo it looks like a, a decent game, so we'll put it on there. Maniac. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna keep, like, we're, first off, we're gonna look at these games. And then we'll we'll start looking at weirdo shit. This one is big weirdo energy. I, I love the way this one looks. Okay, so chat. This is a deck builder. No, 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 no. It is not a Slay the Spire clone. This is a RuneScape clone with deck building. It's completely different. This is an actual MMO. This is this is an actual MMO. But it's 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 RuneScape. <laughs> it's, it's so funny looking, dude. Look at it. It changed everything that people liked about it. Slay the Rune Spire. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how fucking sick this is. The the Skyrim music hits hard with this, that's for certain. Once again, we don't have to play games that people think are good or are amazing, because there is fun to be found anywhere. So if this looks kind of funny to you and, and entertaining, we could totally do this. <laughs> Andy says RuneScape already looks like a pain to play to me. Add deck building and it becomes a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm still putting it on the dang list. You can you can decide whether or not we play this. 
I want to point out, this is the only time I will be... Uh, any of these games will have a chance of being played. So, these keys that I'm being offered, after this, if, the, if you guys decide none of those are being played, you will never ever see them on this channel. I want that to be known. So, that's, that's a thing. The Fallout TV series is pretty decent, uh, by the way. Geffenad uh, used to be a very grindy MMORPG, like classic RuneScape. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, from here on out, now that we've looked at the keys that we've got on offer, we are free to just look at anything. So just just shout out whatever looks interesting to you. We're gonna we're gonna click on it. Um, first thing that's available to me is Anomaly Loop. That that sounds interesting. Let's take a look. You're gonna play Poke Rogue for multiple hours again. I almost started today with Poke Rogue, Andy. I've got a Poke Rogue series now going on YouTube if you're interested. Okay. Do not overlook any anomalies. If you find any anomalies, turn back immediately. If you don't find any anomalies, don't turn back. Be careful if you find the, a red room. This game was inspired by Exit 8. We are trying to make it more interesting and elaborate. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Okay. Um... Okay. I like the room design. There's a cat. There's a bunch of pictures, and there's a bunch of numbers. The cat does look a little anomalous, but I guess not. Okay. It's room one of ten. I choose death. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did Shiba play this today? That's actually really funny. Normal so far. Zero of ten. Zero. I think you're supposed to turn back. Uh oh. Lasers. Yeah, this is weird. Okay, they got they got lasered. Okay, that was that was it. <laughs> that was it. That's anomaly loop. I, I guess I'll throw that on the on the list. Anomaly loop. It it looks kind of interesting to me. Um What is an anti-game? It's a game where there's no gameplay, I think. Uh, have you seen Lethal Company Update that's on beta right now? It's so good. I haven't yet. That sounds cool, though. Okay. Um, remember, if you see a game on this that you want to see, this one, Scaram Scaramazuzu. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at Scaramazuzu. Slime Rancher 2. I don't have access to Slime Rancher 2. This looks cute. What's this? About the game, somewhere between life and death, there is a world made up of hopeful dreams and broken shadows. Souls may sometimes find themselves lured into this strange world to be tested, examined, and to find out where they are worthy of moving on to. <clears throat> the Void, a world of Scaramazuzu has a unique aesthetic of black and white shadow puppet world, set among the ancient ruins, gothic-like structures, while all the, uh, all the while engulfed in a moody, subdued, pale ghost light. Every part of this strange landscape offers n uh, something new for you to discover. You will encounter almost every location to the unique backgrounds and soundscapes. Wait, what? You know what? Fine. That will enchant you with their somber, dreamlike aesthetic, and uh, from interesting yet mysterious characters. Scaramazuzu is a slow-paced, story-driven adventure game with cute, creepy, moody, and strange feeling. I'm not much of a story gamer, but sure, throw it on the list. Throw it on the list at least. Scaramazuzu. There we go. Alrighty. 
what about what about you, chat? You got any any other thing? Moral hunt! Oh my god! Oh my god! We can learn how to hunt morales. That'd be pretty sick. We don't have access to this one, but I kind of want to. Is this literally mushroom hunting? Photography, shop and collectibles, realistic weather, mythological creature. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is there a unicorn in the woods? <laughs> Why is there a random unicorn in the woods? I thought this game was trying to be realistic and then it's like, unicorn. It's like, what? <laughs> You have to do it. I don't have access to this one yet, but it's funny. If it gets picked, we'll, uh... Morals hunt to... Hunt, hunt... <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> I didn't realize this is, a, this is a sequel as well, so keep that in mind. <laughs> That's good. Okay, good, 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 good. Good stuff. Um... This game looks kind of cool. Just at a glance. Let me, let me take a look. So it's a... I mean, I, I love me a racing game. I'll be honest. I'm a bit of a, bit of a racing fan. What do we got? Uh... Okay. Interesting how it, like, transitions from... Why is this video quality so low? It says it's on 1080p. Oh, it's on auto, that's why. Doing some weirdo stuff. Interesting. So, like, transitions between, like, retro and, like, modern, but I, I don't know what the transition does yet. Hmm. I mean, it looks like a solid game. I'm not sure... I'm not sure on that one. If there's anybody who wants to pipe up for Avo Pug Show, I'll put it on the list. But right now, I, I I think we'll leave it off unless somebody says they want to see it. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. The mildew children. What other things have we got here? So the ones you got to keep an eye out for are the ones that I can just claim because I can play those today. Because I've, I've got a big enough audience that they're just willing to give it to me, no questions asked. Anonymous Hacker Simulator, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Some of these are so goofy, man. How you doing, Evasia? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Escape Floor Zero, let's take a look at this. In this game, you find yourself trapped in a seemingly endless parking lot, with the only goal to escape by reaching floor zero. But beware, this is no ordinary por parking lot. It's a twisted maze that loops infinitely, playing tricks on your mind and senses. If you see an anomaly, turn back. If you don't, then continue. Wait, is this the same guy? Is this the same guy that did the, the same people that did the other one? <laughs> is there a deer? <laughs> what is this one? Hang on, what's this? Okay. Okay. Trees. Yeah. Scam game or scam game? It's not scam. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a <laughs> why okay 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 two Okay, what's happening here? It's a... I don't... Was that a... What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Any, any vouchers for Escape Floor Zero? Does anybody want to see this video game? 
Does anybody want to see this one? That trailer was nothing. This game has 20 to 60 minutes of gameplay, I think. Wait, what? what how much? Playtime varies from 20 to 60 minutes and offering a dense and memorable experience. Multiple playthroughs are encouraged to discover all anomalies and hidden secrets. It's stream friendly. There you go. <laughs> what do you think, chat? <laughs> so far, it's looking like a big nope for this one. Who's the big boys? I don't know who the big boys are. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, thumbs down. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> We're moving on from that then. Seemed like it tried to be scary creepy, but it just failed. It was definitely odd. I'll give it that. Timewinder sounds cool. Mildew Children sounds very strange. You finished the spectator mode for Arena, by the way? Yes. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, what day is it today? Thursday. Alright, I'm gonna arrange uh, a, a, t a tournament then. There of Asia. We'll, we'll do... I'm gonna do uh, like a tournament where it's, it's just free and that, that'll be my test run and then I'm gonna do some some prize pools. Franny, thank you for the follow. I hope you're enjoying this weirdness today. Last Hope Zombie Survival. I love zombies. You gotta see that one. I'll, I'll take a look. Wanna, uh, I was gonna ask you uh, if you wanted to test run it. It's pretty hard to, to test by yourself. That's fair. Crybar sent you. Well, welcome on in there, Franny. How am I? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm just looking at a, uh, looking around at some some various video games on Keymailer right now. Let's see what we got here. What is Mildew Children Chat? What is this one? It looks like a point and click adventure game. No one can save it. Oh man, it's one of these ones. Our village. Our village of children. No one but us. Witches. That's not looking like very good water. Do you usually play just chatting? What, what, what do you mean? I mean, we're not playing anything there for any. We're, uh, we're just chatting. Are, are you a bot, perchance? I gotta say, I'm, I'm not much of a story gamer, so we're gonna pass up on that one. I'm making the executive decision on that one. Got him! <laughs> okay, okay, it's ready. Good, good, good. I was gonna say, like, you were normal for the first three messages, and then your fourth, I'm like, wait a second, what's going on here? <laughs> what, what is this? What is this? I was, I was, I was getting the... Uh, the vibes that I was about to get, like, advertised to. <laughs> it definitely has an interesting story beat there, Ophelia, but I'm I'm not much of a story gamer. How you doing there, Scar? Welcome on in. Interstellar Plundered? Let me take a look here. Which which one is that? And also the zombie one people wanted me to look at. Um, Where's the zombie one? Monster's Domain. Wait, where's the, where's the zombie one you guys want to be? Oh, this zombie one here. Scheming through the zombie apocalypse, this one. You ever played Creator Crate? Hell yeah, Franny. I love Creator Crate. That game is so stupidly underrated. It's annoying. That's probably where I've heard your name before. That would make sense. I, th I think you were there for my, my Creator Crate screen stream a long time ago. Or maybe I was there for one of yours. I don't know. One of the two. Yeah, because like that that's one of those games that's like such a banger, but nobody knows about it. You need Fallout Gaming Marathon. 
Gonna make a fake bot message copy pasta, but I feel like Twitch would kill you, maybe. Yeah, that one's that one's really good there. Uh for any. Great game. Um okay. Recommended for you. About the game. Continue Hank and Larry's journey through the zombie apocalypse. So we're we're we'd just be joining in on Frank and Larry's Hank and Larry's story, like, midway in. The zombie one you meant was Last Hope Bunker? Hang on. Where is that? Last Hope Bunker. Um, this one. I don't have access to the key for this one. Ooh, wait, this looks kind of sick. It's got some, some twin stick stuff going on. What about Gollum? <laughs> I have never played that game. It's a, it's a little bit too much of an investment for a giant piece of poop. It's kind of terrible looking. <laughs> Don't, yeah. Do not ever, yeah. That's that's generally the vibe that I've seen, is that it's, it's just self-torture. Is quite awful. I mean, this looks pretty sick. The only problem is I can't play it today because I don't have access to the key. Kind of reminds me of yet another zombie survivors. Is it funny torture though? I don't think so. I, th I think it's not funny torture. You have to be pretty talented to make it funny. I bet the speed run would be kind of sick, though. Okay. Um, what about... So remember, chat, we're, we're trying to look at the, the ones that I can claim. Flight Tracker 3D. <laughs> okay, what was the other one somebody wanted to look at in the YouTube chat? It was... Interstellar Plundered. Let's take a look. And... This one. Ooh! This looks kind of sick. Let's take a peek. Dude, that actually looks really good. Jeremy. <laughs> There's an upgrade just called Jeremy? Wait a second. This is, this is kind of sick. This looks really good. This is this is kind of like Star Fox, but new. Yeah, it's very Star Foxy. I love that there's multiple ships and oh my god. Yeah, no, this looks like a real game. How you doing, Luminessa? I like this. This is the first game where I'm like confident that I would have fun. Is this No Man's Sky? No, this this is a, a, a different game. <laughs> Dude. All right. This one's got my vote, that's for sure. This is what No Man's Sky is. All right, there you go. Interstellar Plunderer. Let's uh, let's throw that on the list. That looks great. That looked really good. Interstellar. Blunderer. I I played some uh, some Star Fox back when I was a kid. It's a very fun game. Very fun g video game. I think that was a rental for me though. I never owned it, sadly. But it was definitely one of my most rented games for sure. Banger. Good good call there. Was that was that you, Scrollpoid, that was recommending that one? Yeah. Trying to recapture Star Fox 64. Yeah, trying to recapture that magic. It can be done. I believe it. I think I think that there's a uh, potential in that genre, or like the style of game. It's cool. Um. Okay. So that's cool. That one's very high on my list, and we're pre-approved, so we can just grab it, which is great. Um. How you doing, Violet? Welcome on in. 
Welcome, 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 welcome. I hope everybody's doing well today. Oh my god. <laughs> this game looks so cute. What the hell? Everything's on fire. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. This looks pretty good. This is pretty funny. So you gotta, like, defend the train. Ooh, and it's multiplayer, too. Huh. Oregon train. Looks pretty interesting. That game where you grow up and die in an hour. Yeah, reminds me a bit of that as well, of Asia. I know the game that you're talking about. This is another one that we've got access to, Oxytone. Let's take a look at what this is. Ooh, this one's on the Switch. How you doing, Stoic? Welcome on in. One hour life, that, that would make sense. One hour, one life. What is this? Oh, this is gonna hurt my head. Oh, this is gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh... Ooh, this looks brutal. <laughs> this, this looks like pain, man. This looks like absolute pain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do we have any vouchers for Oxytone? Anybody want to see me try this? Any uh, Dorf Romantic, uh, if it was a bunch of cables, I guess. I don't know if I've got, a, like, a commands command there for any... Mo people mostly just, like, have to remember them. I'm down, looks fun. Okay, we'll, we'll throw Oxytone on the list then. Oxytone. There we go. Um, I don't know how many games we're gonna look at, or look at. Like, we'll just see. Did you decide all the indies that were announced? You, oh, wait. Did you see all the indies that were announced yesterday? No, I didn't, Stoic. I did not. Scrappage. Oh, yeah, I saw Slay the Spire, too. Of course. Joffy, how you doing? What is this? This is Scrappage. Okay, that guy is looking pretty weathered. Oh, my God, there's zombie. Ooh, a little, little dash. Oh, he's got a shield now and like an SMG. Wait a second. I'm a little... I'm a little worried this is yet another Survivor game. <laughs> Please don't just be a Survivor game. It's really looking like it's just a Survivor game. Oh my god. There's a Mickey Mouse head there. Did you see that? He's got some sicko gear. Like, it... He's got, like, some Kenshi-looking-ass shit. This looks like a Survivor game, but it's, like, really grindy. It's weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Interesting. Death's Door looks great. I feel like I've heard of that one. Oh, man. Psychiatrist Simulator chat. <laughs> Look at this image. <laughs> Look at this image. Look at this one. <laughs> Do you feel lonely too? Do you feel unreal? <laughs> Scars will be for life, so you shouldn't do it. Why did you do that? Whom have you threatened? <laughs> How did you... Okay, um... What do you think, chat? I don't have access to this key. But I'm thinking we just, like, click the button. Right? Like... <laughs> we should just get this one? <laughs> uh, wait, how much is it? How much is this one? What the... It's 649. Is that a real person? What <laughs> is happening? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and... It's not a... Wait, this product is not available to request? Why not? Hang on, I'm, I'm going on the notify. 
We're we're we're. <laughs> <laughs> the game has two reviews. You should read them. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Good game. 0.1 hours played. <clears throat> not recommended. More words. Not needed. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> here we go. I'm not sure where to start with this. There are simulator games for almost everything now, and the premise of Psychiatrist Simulator 2 was intriguing. I had pictured a puzzle game of learning about patients, unlocking information, fitting the pieces together to help people, and presenting it in an informative, educational, and dare I say it, respectful manner. I did not get that from this game. The tone is profoundly off-putting, and the execution feels rushed and lazy. There is no title screen for the game. You boot it up and find yourself staring at a wall, presumably your office. In front of you, there is a table. On that table, there is a radio, which you can turn on and off. The music, by the way, is weird. There is a semi-relaxing tune being played, but over the top of that, there is an automated voice that frequently spouts random statements, such as, maybe, with my wife, we should adopt some child. Or, I must check if they released Katrina from the mental hospital after work. Anyway, next to the radio, there is a book of medical conditions and symptoms. And on the right, there is a book of patients that you have to ultimately diagnose. You are just thrown in and are never given a warning of when a patient will arrive. They just appear on screen in a short video clip. The videos of real people... And acting is fine. You can see some of them reading the lines uh, there and then from their eye movements. For the standards, the rest of the game sets. <laughs> oh, no. The huge issues I have is the dialogue options you have to respond to patients with are read out by an automated voice. This kills immersion. And on top of that, the choices are outrageous. A professional psychiatrist would never respond with a sentence as such as, you're so entitled. I bet nobody loves you. <laughs> I guess that others, I, you treat others like shit. Your friends think you are a freak. You are a psycho. You should burn in hell. I bet you will overdose today. You should be ashamed. You waste my time. You are a pain in the ass. This is the complete total tonal misfire and convincing me that the developer is essentially taking the piss. That may be unfair, but that is how it came across to me. I didn't see it myself because oh, I didn't see it myself because I didn't play for long enough, but I have seen in another review that if you misdiagnose a patient, then there is a clip of said patient self-harming! What the fuck? If that is true, then that is disgusting. Tone aside, this game is plagued with grammatical errors. Patient responses cut off early, with some of them not making any sense. Random black screens that are quite jarring. This game is not what I expe was expecting at all, and I can't recommend it. I did not have a good time with this, and I find this approach to the subject quite worrying. Bruh. Wow. <laughs> it's... Goddamn. Goddamn, dude. Yeah, that's, that's Psychiatrist Simulator 2. It doesn't say the 2 in this name, it just says it's... Okay. <clears throat> oh, Drew asks, do you know if Kato Mon will come out on iOS anytime soon? I have no idea, Drew, but I definitely think they should take advantage and make sure that it gets onto the phones. It's it's a perfect game for that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. But that said, if you want to play Kato Mon on your phone, note that you can restream it from Steam onto your phone, and that's that's what I do sometimes. That's a good way of doing it. Okay. Part of me wants to look at Stonks 9800, but part of me is worried that there's an anime girl. 
So I'm gonna jump over to this screen just to make sure that, like, she doesn't take her shirt off when you make enough money or something. Um... Because I, I, I literally just don't trust <laughs> any of the, the anime-based games at all. What the fuck? This game, <laughs> this game's so weird. Okay. Yeah, that's that's true, Veja. How is it videos of real people it said it's animated faces and images were CGI? I don't know, it was all over the place. How you doing, Itchin? Welcome on in. Okay. Yeah, that game didn't look like it was very good anyway. Don't worry, chat. You didn't miss anything. Um, okay. We got farm your, for your life. We got computer repair shop. We got Anvil Saga, and we got Revival Recolonization. Any of these interesting to anybody? Should we click on any of these ones? Those are the ones that we can get a hold of right now. Computer Repair Shop sounds based. What games have I missed? A bunch. You've missed a bunch of games so far. Well, we haven't played any. We're just, like, looking at them right now. Alias, what about Union of Gnomes on the homepage? I'm going back to the home page. I'm sorry, give me a second. I can put a PC together, Evasia, maybe. <laughs> Where's Union of Gnomes? This one. Yeah, I've I've got access to it as well. Wait, does this is this is Skrellpoid going beast mode again? Did they find another banger? Um what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Bruh. Evil gnomes? What is happening in this game? Play that. <laughs> Still in. Okay. Interesting. What do you think, chat? I, I think there's enough people saying yes on that. Let's Let's go ahead and add it to the list. Union of Gnomes. Union of Gnomes. Wannabe inscription? I think it's pretty different. It's pretty different from that one. Okay. You want to see Psychiatrist Simulator 2? Listen, it's not available for me to claim. And I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> the whole point of this section, the whole point of this stream today is to play video games that I can acquire for free and then, you know, you can you can decide whether you want to see it or not. Please don't, even if you could. <laughs> what is, what is Revival Recall? It's a 4X game. Nope. <laughs> I'm not doing a 4X game. What about Anvil Saga? I don't know. I feel more like killing people today than, than doing that. World of Turtle! Oh my god. Hang on. Hang on. What is World of Turtle? Oh yeah. Dude, why is the movement kind of sick? Look at him! Dude, he's kind of schmoovin'. Why is he schmoovin'? <laughs> Why does the movement look good? This is great. Babo the turtle. Peng. <laughs> look at the look in his face. The look at his eyes. The turtles. Gorillax. 100 mind-boggling levels. Dude. This looks kind of sick. The world of turtle. Kind of sick. Yeah, no, that, that game's kind of cool. It's 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 very wholesome. How you doing, Sokolis? Today we're looking at games that are available on Keymailer. 
and uh, at the at the end of like I don't I don't know how much time I'm just kind of going for now. We're we're gonna have a vote, and people are gonna pick from the the games that we have chosen so far to be on this poll, and we're gonna play the top three votes. That's the that's the game plan here. Anyway, the Vage wants to see computer repair shop. What is Keymailer? Keymailer is a a really handy website for acquiring video games for free from the developers um so that way like you can stream them or play them on on like a, a platform and that's that's the idea oh there's battle bots what the fuck there's battle bots in computer repair shop let's go computer repair shop by cheesecake dev Bro, what's happening? Why is there- why are they- the hobos beating up the guy- what? <laughs> what, are you, what is happening? This is- this doesn't look like- <laughs> Why is there penis graffiti on the wall? What's- <laughs> This is- <laughs> This is supposed to be a computer repair! <laughs> what is this? Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, why aren't they just playing a video game? This isn't... Okay. Is this how you... Is this how you do computer? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Why is there robot wars? Why is there robot wars? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is by the exact same people who have like the... What is happening? <laughs> Why is there gambling? Why is this game so many things? What? 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 Oh my god, not like this, dude. <laughs> I was not ready for that. You're supposed to make... It's it's computer repair shop. There's a cat. Oh yeah, exactly, Evasia. Yeah, 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 okay. Alright, we'll put that one on the list, because that's pretty funny. Computer repair shop. That seems like it, it would be interesting to people. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. Okay, what what else have we got here? Wow, that was that was like out of nowhere. I'm surprised. It was quite something. Pirates vs ninjas. Okay, I, I gotta look. Like I gotta look at least. I gotta know. Now on Steam. Pirates vs. Ninjas. Okay, that's a that's a pirate. Gonna gonna invite Debbie Zone. Okay. <laughs> what is the dance? Oh. Okay. Okay. That doesn't look like a pirate or a ninja. That's like a shark. What a... <laughs> Dude, that's a... Oh my god. Look at how smooth the water is. Okay. Why is... <laughs> this freaking pirate has a machine gun. Why are they sword fight? Why? <laughs> that seems like a real. He swings like all over here. Like, how is that ever gonna hit anyone? <laughs> Kinda sick. Okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> they're they're dying. They're getting one hit. They're getting insta killed. Yeah, it's it's Mordhau. It's literally the, the Mordhau, but more because you get to drive a boat. Oh my god, look at all those ninjas. Yeah, a little bit there, Skrelpoid. Dude, he dropped a whole loaf of bread. What? They're dropping... Are they dropping entire loaves of bread? Is that what they're doing? Archor Games. All right, there you go. That's that's pirates versus ninjas. I can't put that on the list because there's no there's no key for it. Okay, this one's called Crash Test Idiots Multiplayer. That sounds like fun, right? I think I think this one might be cooking. Let's take a look. This one might be cooking. I love the idea of just crashing into shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Beaming at home. Beam NG at home. Maybe a little, but that's okay. Does Beam NG have giant swinging axes? I don't think so. Darn. It does? Oh, okay. It's a lot of sound effects. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but it's multiplayer. Beam NG would be a pop get pog game to play. It would be fun. I'm not gonna lie. I thought about picking that one up for a long time. It's our short games again! It's the same guys who did Pirates vs. Ninjas! Oh my god, are we on to some sort of conspiracy? What is this? What other games have they made? Nobody sleeps tonight. And Cell Wars. What is Cell Wars? Cell Wars sounds interesting. It's a... It's a wave-based survival shooter. It's a, that's a tough sell, for sure. <laughs> it's a, that's a tough sell. Okay, I'm a little. I want to look at Nobody Sleeps Tonight because I have access to it, but I also don't want to get banned. What is happening here? Okay, I, th I think I'm good to look at this one. What is this one? So this is Nobody Sleeps Tonight. It's a. Uh... Let me see. Your friend disappears in the middle of the night during a forest cabin trip. It's up to you to find them. Although it appears the forest may be holding a dark, unexpected secret. It's up to you to brave the secrets of the forest and rescue your friend. And get out while you both still can. Or while you still can. Largely randomly generated environments ensuring each playthrough is fresh. A large randomly generated forest and underground tunnel network to explore. Okay. Okay. We got... We got some... That's a spooky looking monster. What the shit? Okay. What do you think? And it's co-op. And it's co-op. How, mu how much is this on Steam? Hang on. How much how much is this on Steam? It's 7.79. Okay. Yeah, no, I agree. It would be fun to play with people, probably. 
What's what's Zytio doing right now? Is Zytio around? Because I would probably play this with Zytio. Sounds like fun. I'd play it if you bought it for. I'm not buying it for you. I'm not. I <laughs> just. I don't know about that. Let's let's not get too crazy here. Probably sleeping. Probably. I wonder what Bonfire or Fury are doing. There's there's probably somebody I could get to play this with me. Interesting for sure. It's got proximity voice chat. Ho 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 ho. I don't know this this one. What do you think, chat? Do I have any vouchers for this game, or is this like a later thing? Because this this does actually look like a a pretty interesting game. It'd be kind of funny to mess around on. Any any vouchers at all? If there's no vouchers, I can I can get naysayers too. That works too. Another time, maybe. Okay. People are burnt out on the genre. All right, that's fine. Let's let's move on then. When when do you think we should close this out and just start picking some of these to play? I don't know. If you guys are having fun just looking at games, I'm I'm having fun too. Multiple multiplayer robots? What? Multiplayer robots? That's Hang on. Co-op or PVP? Single player and multiplayer. Here we go. What do we have? Multiplayer bots. Okay. The, the music though. Look at that car, dude. <laughs> Look at that car. <laughs> Skrullpoid on YouTube saying this is another Archor game. Could be. They're, they're literally just like a bunch of robots standing around in the in like a, a singular street. That is all they have shown for gameplay so far. I don't know about this one. I'll be honest. P assault rifle. They don't even have like a an icon for the the assault rifle. It's one dollar. Don't even think about it, Etchin. Yeah, I think this is a one level Andy. I'm pretty sure they just have like one level, and it's like one big street. There's no... Look at him, he's just tanking. He's just sitting there, sh like... <laughs> okay. Archer Games! There it is. There it is, everybody. Skrull Point called it. Another asset flip by Ar Ar Archer Games. I wish I could, like, blacklist them. God damn. Okay, what about Etrian the Elf Prince? We've also got Bear Cycle. Tents and Trees for Nintendo Switch. What's tents and trees? Nope. <laughs> Don't even. Okay. What about what about this? Elf prince. <clears throat> oh god. I'm worried. Oh. Look at all the languages. Fateful encounters. Secrets unveiled. A great loss. A great loss. I like the 2D, 3D aesthetic. I think it's kind of cool. It is a JRPG. This looks decent, but, like, 
may be too long for a, like a shorter meme stream, like what we're trying to do. Betrayal looms. Dude, how epic is that? I actually really like the, the 2D, 3D art style stuff they've got going on. Yeah, this feels like a real game. Unlike some of the other games we've been coming across. But yeah, the key mailer definitely needs to, like, do something about the shovelware games. Like, I, I don't know... There are some games that, like... Like, th this game feels like a respectable full game. But, like, th those Archor games were, were, like, gross, right? They were just kind of gross. Yeah, this looks like a real game, which is cool. Okay, let's look at Bear Cycle. <laughs> what is this, dude? Holy snout spin. You get, you get to do, oh my god, wait, do you get to make mustache? You get to, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, there's Grizzly Bear. <laughs> this game is completely free to play. Your key from Key Mailer can just be used to in the garage to redeem in-game currency. You can just go play this now. Alright, we'll, we'll add, we'll add Bear Cycle to the list, because that, Bear Cycle. There you go. There's bear cycle. I don't. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Multiplayer turtles. That's that's an Archer Games game, isn't it? Whoa! Wait, the turtle actually looks sick as hell. It is our chore games. It is yet another asset flip. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of those, unfortunately. Okay. What else have we got? Camping Vlog Simulator 2024! They offered me this one earlier, and I almost did, but I was a little bit too busy at the time. But this is the day where I could do Camping Vlog sim Simulator. What do you think, chat? Should we put this one on the list? I could, I could do some vlogging. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I'm out here in the woods, trying to survive. You're waiting for Tree Simulator 2024. <laughs> okay, do we do we have any vouchers for Camping Vlog Simulator? Michaela is making a she she oh she's making a the thing. Um. Okay, what else have we got? Beach Invasion 1945 Pacific. We've also got the mop up demo. And push XL, one button arcade. I want to see what the beach invasion looks like. Push has a cool logo. We'll take a look at it. Can you guys hear the the, the thing being made? Okay, here we go. Uh, they're, they're... I'm a little alarmed. Uh, <laughs> this is being played from the side of the Germans. Uh, this is a German <laughs> World War II tower defense game. <laughs> what? Oh no! Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh, fi finally! <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Are you sick of playing as the Alliance? Well, here's your chance. <laughs> Fuck. It's just. Uh, I don't know. It's really weird. <laughs> I really don't know how to feel about this one. I mean... <sighs> okay. You do get to play as the Axis, which is interesting. Uh... Yeah, it is a work of fiction. It looks pretty okay. What do you think, chat? Should that one go on the list? Does anybody want to see me play that? We could I, if if we got any vouchers, I'll throw it on the list. It does look like a pretty fun game. Meh. Okay, we've got we've got one meh. Wait, this looks kind of sick. JT says do it. Okay, we'll put it on the list. 1945. We'll, we'll just we'll just put it down as that. Be beach invasion. There you go. And this looks fun. I'm putting this one on the list for me because this looks fun. This looks like a fun game. Push XL. There we go. All right, let's throw on some music. Yeah, this one looks great. This looks like a fun game. This, look, this looks like speed golf. It looks like you can kind of schmoove. All right, cool. Um, I don't know how many more pages I want to do. Oh, look at all these available claims. Look at them all. Will you snail a juggler's tail? Jigsaw puzzle fever. <laughs> God. Oh man. Yeah. All right, milkshake time. Huh? What's that? Why well, I can just Oh, yeah, yeah. Clearly. Sorry, Chad. I had to, I had to drink a milkshake. Yeah, we're celebrating with the the weakest blueberry milkshake I've ever tasted in my whole life. <clears throat> okay, I'm starting with synced because that looks interesting. <laughs> Game length, PvP, so however long you want to play. Based? So fucking based? <laughs> this is a limited time. Um, what day is it today? July. Th that's This is for July. So I can't even get in. Alright. 
Um, what is Hammer of Virtue? Boom, 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 boom. That's a... Um... Dude. Wait. This is sick, right? <laughs> Wait, this this is sick, right? <laughs> Dude, look at the physics. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Why is a cow a giant? Is that a cow or a bear? They've got lightsabers. That's a. Oh my god! Dude! I, th I think this one doesn't even go on the list. I think this one I just we just do, right? Like, I'm, I can, can we just unanimously decide that this one has to happen today? Like, we're, we're just, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. Yeah, okay. Um, yes. Okay. I gotta not do this on screen, otherwise somebody else is gonna take my key. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, 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 dude. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do bicycles right now. I'm doing bicycles. Yoink. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this, this game looks sick. This game looks so dank. I'm so 100,000% in. I just didn't feel like doing any of the the usual today, so I'm like, fuck it. Let's let's get weird. Let's get weird. There we go. I'm gonna start installing. It's three gigabytes, so we, we might just like randomly die. It looks good, Evasia. It look it looks genuinely good. Okay. Um just one of these. We we might be closing in on poll time for sure. Why can't I pin stuff? God diggity doodle, I gotta use my bot. Yo, how you doing, Smirk? Okay. Um you know what I should be playing right now? I should be playing the Hammer of Virtue song while we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you pin it, Andy? Because it's not letting me pin it. It is a custom song. <laughs> it is a. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, we're gonna grab like one or two more from from this page, and then we're going to to start playing video games. Okay. Um I'm I'm no. <laughs> just just no. Th thank you, Andy. Thank you for pinning that. Uh we got necrosis. What's this one? No microtransactions. Oh, good, good. They didn't. They didn't do any. Okay, the the Hammer of Virtue is downloaded. I'm pogging up for that. I'm very excited for Hammer of Virtue. Retro Revengers. What do we got here? Oh hell yeah, dude. Become a retro revenger. Dude, that cat's throwing hands. Wait. Okay. 
triple jump. <laughs> Thank God I ate those burritos today. He actually just he's, he's got fart triple jump, dude. <laughs> oh my God. The cat's kind of cracked, dude. The cat's not. Oh my God, that mermaid though. All right. Based, yeah. Explaining the the triple jump system. Dude, I kind of love the cat. I'm sold. It's got multiplayer. That looks like a bop. I'm willing to put... I think we put that one on the list. That looked good. That looked like a good game. Retro Revengers. There we go. Okay, and... Is there anything else? This is the last chance... For any of these to land on the list. Um... We could look at Gravity or Jigsaw Puzzle Fever. Also, we, we didn't look at the snail game. Is this Geometry Wars? Yeah, this looks like a good game. Like, almost too good. It is a troll platformer. What do you think, chat? Yay or nay? Does it go on the list? There's a YouTube series uh, by the dev developing the game. Yeah, yeah, okay. Snail. Will you snail? There you go. Let's look at Jigsaw Puzzle Fever really quick. Okay, I'm going to put that one on the list. That would be pretty funny. And we got gravity. What's this one? Okay. I'm going to say I'm no, no on that one. Here we go. This is our list. We got a whole bunch of games on here. Multiple choice. Um... Allow mul multiple options. You can, you can pick as many as you want. I'm also going to put one last one in here. Should we do this again? Click that if you want to see this again, okay? Wait, what, 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 are, what are you saying wait about there, Scar? What are, you, what are you thinking? We're goofing today. We're just chilling, so... We should do a quick recap. We should do a quick recap. I agree. We're going we're gonna to speed through these. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to just start bringing them up on Steam. So. We've got Auto Sale Life. This is, this is game number one. Auto Sale Life, you're a car salesman. Kind of. You own a business and you drive some cars. You make some cars. You sell some cars. And, I, the, yeah, I don't know what else. That's, that's auto sale life. We've got Maniac. We've got Maniac, which is, um, this is GTA Rampage, but it's a, uh, it's a survivor-like. And, uh, it's, it's got, like, some cool movement and some interesting different characters. It's, it's just chaos on Incarnate. It's it's just craziness. It's it's just silliness. So that that is a survivor like, but it seems like it's a it stands well above. Look at that movement. Look at that fucking movement. This game does have some pretty cool looking stuff going on in it. So that that looks cool. You got you got your survivor like, and then we've got anomaly loop, 
which is a walking simulator. <laughs> it's it's like it gets it things get increasingly weird, and it, this is like a sh super short one where shit just gets weird. That's that's pretty much it. That's that's the whole idea. So that's anomaly loop. That's on the list. We've got uh, Genfanad, a generic fantasy adventure. This is a car deck building MMORPG that basically looks like RuneScape. Um, let me let me see. We're only gonna pick the top three chosen ones, Dylan. So yeah, it's it's got like the slay the spire type combat, and then it's got like the are they only gonna show the combat in this one? And then they got like the the RuneScape overworld, Dragon Fable. Okay, what, it, what I mean is it though? Because like this is the three D is like this is RuneScape. This this is very RuneScape. So yeah, that's Gen Fanad. <laughs> <clears throat> you play Silent Breath yet? I haven't there, Shark. We're, do we're doing some goofing today. Okay, next game on the list is Morals Hunt 2. Note that I can't play Morals Hunt 2 yet. We can't play Morals the Hunt 2 yet because it's not available. But basically, it's like a... You go around and collect morals and mushrooms and then there's animals that you can do photography with and there's also mythical creatures for no reason which is very weird and cool and this looks funny so if you pick this one if this one gets a top vote i will pick this game up later and we'll play it on another day okay that's the game plan for this one it, it, lo it looks interesting. It's definitely interesting. So that that's that one. Um, then we've got Scaramazuzu, which I, I did not bring up yet. Scaramazuzu is a story-based, uh, like gloomy. It's it, it it's 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 got like little puzzles. It's it's one of these. It's one of these ones. You get the idea. Okay. Next, we have... Interstellar Plunderer. This one is one of the top ones for me. This this game looks really good. This is, this is Star Fox meets Nova Drift. It's a... Um, it's a roguelike, but with, like, the Star Fox styling of, of combat. And, uh, yeah, this one looks pretty sick. This one's definitely high on my list, personally. Um, but yeah, that, that's a cool one. And then we've got, um, Oxytone. Oxytone is a brain breaker. The idea is that it, it just is a fucking brutal tile game. And you gotta never loop back on yourself. Essentially. It's it's weird. And it like hurts my head. Which could be funny. It's it's pretty wild. So that that could be a fun one. Uh next up we've got Union of Gnomes. Which is a uh, another card game. But it's got, like, a pretty impressive art style and some... Oh, God, right. This lady. <laughs> Just... Oh, man. It's, uh... It, it definitely seems interesting. It's got some cool stuff going on. You get to kill nuns. Not very many games you get to do that. And then... We've got Computer Repair Shop. 
which which chat responded really well to. It's got mostly negative and mixed reviews, <laughs> which is a little alarming. I'll be honest. You, the <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff going on in it. You, you fix computers a little bit. You mop up doo doo. You you gamble. You play video games. You go to the strip club. It's, it's whatever you want it to be, really. This this is definitely a, a lot of people's top pick. I do love the idea of doing some some robot combat, combat, I guess. So yeah, that's on the list. And then we've got uh, Bear Cycle, which is a game where you're a bear on a, a bicycle. It's it's pretty simple, but it, it looks pretty fun as well. God damn, look at that bear. Look at that bear going crazy, dude. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Wild. So yeah, there, there's Bear Cycle. There's 1945 Beach Invasion. I'm not going to show all these later games because we, we've already seen them all. This is just a refresher. So 1945 Beach Invasion is a tower defense game where you play as the Japanese defending their beaches. Uh, we've got Push XL, which is a, a really cool looking, um, like one button movement game, uh, kind of kind of like speed golf. And then Retro Revengers was was that really good looking? Oh man, there's so many of these that look really good. Okay, we're we're just gonna go ahead and send it. I th I think you've got uh, the the general picture on what's available. We are creating the poll. Please choose as many options as you like, and make sure to select the bottom option if you want to see me do this again. I'm going to drop links in both chats for everybody who wants to get involved. Uh, there is the link, and uh, please uh, commence voting. I'm going to take my, my votes as well. I'm going to vote for Interstellar Plunderer, and... I think we should do this again. Actually, I'm not going to pick for that one. You, you guys can choose whether we do it again. I, I like the look of Push XL. And... Which other ones did I like the look of? Um... Retro Avengers looked pretty good, too. Those are going to be my three. My three picks. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Please continue voting, chat. Decide the future of this channel for today. <laughs> I'm going to grab some more water and do a quick BRB. Um, please feel free to discuss what you would like to see, chat. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to throw on some ads so that way people don't get pre-rolls. And uh, I will be back in a little bit. I just kind of like do a stretch and whatnot. Do a little stretch. Where's my... There it is. Alright, be right back, chat.
Okay, here we go. Yeah. Water. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to sneeze. chat ad break is done hello all right right now bear cycle is winning maniac in second Inter interstellar in third and uh yeah everything else trailing behind nobody wants to see me do jigsaw puzzle fever <laughs> which is understandable i suppose all right cool Cool, 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 cool. So we'll keep an eye on this. Keep on voting. In the meantime, let's play Hammer of Virtue. The little blob guy in Monster Sanctuary is too adorable. I have to keep him in my party. Lucky for you, JT, every mon is, ver uh, is very good in... Uh, in Monster Keeper. They're all good. So, you, if you want to keep your blob, be my guest. It'll it'll serve you well to the very end of the game. Alrighty. Um, let me go ahead and swap over to Hammer of Virtue. Yeah, trust me, you can find better healers. And, and, like, finding the specific role that they're supposed to be good at is important. You're probably going to have to refabricate your team, like, two or three times over the course of the run. But, um, you know, early on, you just need to have, like, a tank of utility and, like, a damage dealer. And then you can get more creative and more synergistic from there. Okay, Hammer Virtue, hashtag key mailer. This game looks like it has very fun physics. We'll go with that. Because it does look like it has very fun physics. It's time for Hammer of Virtue, chat! <laughs> Let's freaking go. <laughs> okay. Is two player co op nice? Metal classic? There's metal and classic. <laughs> That's interesting. Graphics. Okay, there's just resolution. Can I can I up the resolution? I can. Why are there three different 2560 1440s? I don't know. Have you tried Hammer Fight? I have. I played it briefly. It's pretty interesting. That's the one where you have to like swing your mouse around for like momentum, right? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, fast travel is G. Switch enemy is R. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's... There's, there's one level work field. 
All right, here we go. Hammer of virtue, chat. Hammer of virtue. For your first task, please eliminate all enemies so we can investigate the site. Be careful. We only have one sample of the unbreakable armor. Use the environment to your advantage. Okay, sick. This is way too loud, right? Okay, here we go. How do I swing? Okay, he's on me. How do I swing? <laughs> How do I swing? <laughs> What's happening? Why, why, oh wait, d wait a second, I understand, I think. What's that vehicle doing in the background? How do I swing? Oh my god. Why isn't there, the, the, <laughs> hang on. Hammer, I'm trying, left click doesn't do anything. Oh my god, he broke the rock, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, I can't look at the controls. What does left click do? I don't- That bear just exploded that rock! What the- What the- <laughs> What is happening? Hang on. How do I- How do I hit him? Hit him! Oh my god. Jukin. I like the back health bar, by the way. That's kind of sick design. How do I unlock? I'm, like, locked onto him right now. Because I hit R. Why can't it? Hang on. I gotta I gotta give up and go to the... What? That did just... <laughs> I didn't mean that! I didn't mean that! Hang on. Hang on. Okay. It's fine. We're, we're, we have to learn. This is a... Okay, let's try again. This time, let's look at the controls. Okay. Mouse moves. Block is right click. Lock on is left mouse button. What's attack? Oh! High attack is 2, low attack is X, left attack is E, and right attack is Q. <laughs> okay, okay, little weird. That makes perfect sense. Does it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is that. I thought you were a true gamer. Listen, this is this is an old school control scheme. I see block is also on space. So what if I just made made this? Maybe it's meant for controller. <laughs> it's not gonna make me pick controller. It, is it letting me pick controller? Oh, do I have my controller set up now? Controller. Maybe maybe this would be a sick controller game. Controller. Block is right trigger. Nah, let's let's make it Dark Souls controls. Do we make it Dark Souls controls? Nah, let, let's do this. Good. Okay, so that's what. Now press a button or move. What? Now press a button or move to move an axis to assign it to a block. What the? Okay. Y is high attack. Low attack is A, B, X. Right trigger is block. Right stick button is lock on. Right stick X is move camera. Yeah, okay. 
Left stick button is switch enemy. Left shoulder is... I, I think we just tried with controller. Let's, let's try it on the controller. This looks like it might be a controller game. Um... <laughs> let's let's give this a go. We got we got 144 frames. That's pretty good. Please eliminate okay, here we go. Enemies so we can now we we're Be swinging. Careful. We only have one sample of the unbreakable armor. Use oh. the environment to your advantage. Oh, dude! Wait. Oh, wait. I'm clapping him. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! Yeah, dude! Dude, okay. Hell yeah. We got another bear over here. The under swing is wild. Under swing seems like it's kind of cracked. Oh, swing it down on him! Oh, <laughs> Oh, 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 he's still up. Holy shit, dude. Just bring the hammer down. Oh my god. This game is dank. This game is so fucking dank. Oh my god, look at this. This game would probably have, like, a sicko speedrun, right? Can I just bring the house down on him? Oh, what a meaty hit, dude. I'm bringing the whole damn house down. Where'd he go? Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to get that swing on me. He didn't. He almost did. Land the tree on him. Finish him. I actually really like the the multi swing stuff going on. Dude, bring the whole house down, dude. That's sick. This game is just fun. This is just wholesome. Some wholesome smashing action. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go, dude. You just leveled an entire house in like a handful of swings. Tear down wishes. Have you played Tear Down? Yeah, we did. We did almost all a Tear Down on stream. I never quite finished it, but I did a lot of it. I do kind of wish there was a jump button. This guy's going for the swings. The Oh no. There we go. Swift one. Okay, hit him with the rock. Oh, it didn't work. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the way the ragdoll happens. Welcome on in there, casual watcher. Yeah, this game is indeed on the goofy side. And it's kind of sick. <laughs> oh my, is he dead? No, he's not quite dead. Oh shit, he, he got a hit in on me. Oh. <laughs> Dude's getting bullied. The underswing is wild. You can go so crazy with it if you swing just right with it. Does anybody remember what my quest was at the start of the game? What is that? Is that fast travel? It's fast travel, chat! Oh my god. It's the greatest fast travel of all time. <laughs> oh, 
There's no way that's fast travel. That's so sick, dude. This game is actually gonna have a sicko speed run. What is that? That is so fucking cool. Victory. Dude. Dude. Okay, we got we got level two monkeys. <laughs> level two is monkeys. Let's go. This is this is sick. This is this is a hidden gem for sure. Like there's there's some serious jank, but like holy cow. Okay, so we gotta kill the monkeys. What is that large thing coming at me? Why are you disturbing us? We are only here to the dying dude. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Look at how much of the building we just crushed. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Look at how incredible. This game is actually incredible. Oh my god, man. Okay. I'm going. I'm going in. Oh shit. See you, nerds! <laughs> Did that work? Oh my god. It looked like that maybe worked. Oh my god. Slapping him. <laughs> that was a schmeedy one. This is peak gaming. This is what peak gaming looks like. I, you, you think you're getting away from me. You're wrong. I'm coming after that one. I'm going after him. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm just whipping like crazy. Oh my god, I'm getting blasted. Oh, he's he's getting some serious damage on me. I gotta I gotta take him out. Die. There we go. That's good. <sighs> Yeah, it is very Red Faction gorilla -y, for sure. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> They're all still standing somehow. What? Dude, I really hope they keep developing this. This is actually sick. Like, it's so dumb, but it's actually really good. Like, it's 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 definitely fucked up, but like in the best way possible. This is super fun. Genuinely having a lot of fun with this game, even though it's like real goofy. <laughs> Hang on, can, should we check the? Let's check the classical. amazing. Yeah, no, it, it, this game has the best fast travel out of any game ever. Like, no joke. Actually brilliant. <laughs> did I kill him with that? I hope so. I don't think I did. No, he's still up. Okay. Bonk. We did it! 
Oh, man. There's no way there's enough of this game for me. Like, I don't think I could ever stop. This is amazing. Job interview? What? <laughs> Welcome, applicant 354. You are trying out for the part of field operator. Please select the bear. What? Go closer to the bear and select the left stick button to select what? Good. Now lock on to the bear. Adequate. Block four attacks. Bad. Bad? What? Hold right trigger. Which one is right trigger? Okay. Good. Oh my god. Wait, this game actually has real combat? Protect yourself. Ow. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is not the way. <laughs> he didn't fuck the dice. <laughs> Protect yourself. I tried. I'm getting blasted. Oh my god, dude. Here we go. Try me. Satisfactory. Block an attack just before it lands for a counter block. No, what? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this, game, this game is so good, dude. This game's an actual 10. This game's actually so fucking good. Okay. All right. We made a mistake with you. I I've failed. Welcome applicant 354. You are trying out for the part this Oh, I got it. Operator. Oh, the low and high ones are hard. Yeah, pathetic now. Lock on to the bed. <laughs> Good. Adequate. Now block, block on to the satisfactory. Bear. Okay. Right. Got it. Satisfactory. Adequate. All right. Block an attack just before it lands for a counter block. <coughs> Have we made a mistake with you? No. Mistake. Am I not doing this good enough? Am I seriously not doing this good enough? Wrong. Try what? Again. This is not the way. Oh my god. Mistake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please eliminate the bear. Okay. Am I winning? <laughs> okay. You have succeeded in all your assigned tasks okay. and are now ready for field work. Okay. 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 <laughs> Dude. All right. Here we go. This does feel better on a controller, by the way. Feels quite natural. Yeah, the tutorial literally showed up like after you'd already figured out how to play the game. But to be fair, I did learn about blocking properly. <laughs> you. <laughs>
Are they in this? They are in this. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Ah, he got me through my block, hacker. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's going through my block. <laughs> oh my god. Send help. By the way, chat, if there's any, like, good launches, please feel free to, to clip. Because this, this is amazing. And I feel like the world needs to know about this video game. Oh my god, did you see that hop? That was crazy! I have no idea how I did that. Okay, fuck this bear up. We're, we're trying to use physics to our advantage. <laughs> okay, get him! <laughs> Oh my god, we just barely landed that. There we go. Get fucked. This little shit's gonna get launched. <laughs> he, got, he launched himself back into me! <laughs> I don't know how he managed that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. This game is amazing. This game is so fucked and so good at the same time. The the self-launch mechanic is such a brilliant idea. Like I really Like I'm I'm pretty amazed. <laughs> it's so fun to just launch yourself around. I I think a whole game could be made around that. Oh my god, we're in danger. Need to need to like crash some buildings on these guys. There we go. Blast them. Blast them with the building. Hell yeah. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my god. The whole damn building came down on us. Oh my god. <laughs> my health's in the yellow. That's not good. The bears actually require a, a level of skill to beat. I'm like these little monkeys. <laughs> I love the default monkey sound. <laughs> oh my god, that guy got so fucked. He's still alive though, look at that. I think I knocked myself down. That's so fun. Got him. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I don't know who's left alive. Let's just launch into the middle of the map and we'll look at the radar. Oh my god, you can literally run jump across the entire map in a single bound. That's crazy, man. Where is this guy? Over here. E? Alright. What a brilliant game. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we gotta get a bear. Just scary. Oh, no! We're getting launched. Where are we going? We're going low. Oh, we're blocking. Got him. Victory. Hell yeah. Can you launch other things if you're looking up when swinging low? Kind of? Kind of is the answer. I wonder what the two player looks like. No, 
chat, that's all the levels. No. No. Oh my god. All right, let's go back to workfield. Just 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 one just for old time's sake, okay? It's a demo for a reason. I know. This better not be like an abandoned game. This is such a brilliant game. It's it's genuinely so good. Only have one sample of the unbreakable armor. Use the environment to our advantage. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going crazy, dude. Oh my god, oh my god, he's ping-ponging off of everything, dude. <laughs> it's truly a, a thing to behold. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but I must. I can't, but I must. Okay. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Is he already down? He's not quite down. What? So it looks like adjusting the camera positioning doesn't matter with the, the strike. It's all about the, the strike point. But I've already heard this song, I wanna wanna mix it up, go back to the metal. Oh yeah. It's time. <laughs> Straight into the house. Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> God. <laughs> we knocked him down with all the random garbage in the way. Okay. <laughs> I love that you can, like, slide along the ground after them. Who needs a run button when you have a fucking yeet button? It's so good. Tree battle. Okay. Is he dead yet? I think he's dead. Next target spotted. Does your self launch cause damage to you? I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oh! That was almost such a good hit. Where did he go? Oh, he's getting launched. There we go. Oh my god. One more hit. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> okay. Fury, welcome on in. <sighs> god, that was beautiful. <laughs> Man. That's Hammer of Virtue. What a fucking amazing game. Like, I really hope they keep making that. What a what a gloriously dumb game. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna write a review really quick. First, I have to get the music playing in the background. Song. <clears throat> Here we go. Is this the one? Did they, did they start singing the... I want them to start singing Hammer of Virtue. Do they only do that in this? There we go. This is the one. 
Yeah. Fury Forged. <laughs> welcome on in. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Fury. Okay, well, you know what? I was gonna just go and write a review, but I need to show you all Hammer of Virtue. We're doing some dumb shit today. We're doing some dumb stuff today. We are our our sole goal is to find cool, goofy games on Keymailer. The first one we found here is Hammer of Virtue. And this game is just a an absolute masterpiece. You need to see this. Thank you, Fury, for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. What were you up to today, Fury? Were you, were you doing some noiter perchance, perhaps? Welcome on in, everybody. Merper, how you doing? Good to see you, Merper. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But yeah, there's there's just so many like goofy games. Is Broforce on Keymailer? I don't know. Maybe? Oh man, we almost disturbing us. We almost hit that guy. We 100 percent completed Fez, then we're working on new Noita Alchemy Run. Hell yeah, very nice. Yeet. Yeah, so this game has a fast travel button. And it just sends you flying across the world. Like, what a badass mechanic. It's really genuinely great. This game is... is I don't know how it's rated. All I know is that it's underrated. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Just... Just insanity, really. Get out of this building. We'll, we'll go after our targets here. Oh, I, I just landed one on them. There we go. Here we go. But yeah, everybody from Fury Forge side, if you don't know who I am, I'm Alias. I play a variety of video games. Normally I play like roguelikes and Noita and Kadomon or wh whatever I feel like really, but some days we get weird. And uh, this is one of those days where I'm just like, we need to, we need to get weird. So that's that's exactly what I'm doing. Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> this is glorious. We're getting surrounded. Oh, they're they're blasting me a little bit here. As you can see, this game is is a bit of a meme. But, like, in the best way possible. Is this Thor Simulator? <laughs> Thor Simulator wishes. Thor Simulator friggin' wishes. Oh my god, look at that launch. It's truly spectacular. The amount of launch force you can get. <laughs> I wish you could, like, bowling ball into them. That'd be great. Imagine. Imagine! You think you can take me. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, well, there you go. That's Hammer of Virtue. I just wanted to show it off um, really quick before we swap on to our next game. Because we have a whole bunch of games! Uh, if you look at the, the pinned list of games, um, you can find what we're going to be playing throughout today. No, not that one. How is it mostly negative? What? That doesn't make any sense. Actually, for $12.99, I guess that makes sense since it's early access. I think this game as a free demo is amazing. I think this game for $12.99 is not the price it should be. Oh, it was really fun, Fury. But, like, I, I guess for that short of a game, like, that's the main issue. That, like, I never got to fight any of the Tyrannosaurs. Maybe the full game is, is better. Or maybe the, the... I don't know. It's weird. Cash grab! Oh, man. I don't know about that. I was gonna leave a review, but because I've only got the demo, there's not really too much I can do. All right, so the next game on our list, let's go ahead and bring it up, shall we? Uh, we have this game list right here. Not early access, that's it, the game is done. Oh, that sucks, Fatrius. I thought, I thought that was like an early version of the game. 
Way too... Oh, yeah, exactly, Radiant. I'd be interested to see what the full game looks like. Because obviously that was just the demo. Maybe I'll pick that up. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, throwing on some music for a moment. Here we go. So, Interstellar Plunderer is up next. This game was really piquing my interest as well. Um, this game is Star Fox, but it's a roguelike with a really, really cool art style. So let's jump over to Keymailer and we'll grab it. Give me one second. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> but yeah, shout out. Shout outs to Fury for bringing everybody over here. I really appreciate that. I hope uh, I hope you had fun in Fez. Seems like you got through that game really fast. Um, yeah, so this is the next game we're going to be playing. It's called Interstellar Plunderer. And uh, it looks pretty sick. You got, you got all these kind of things going on. Yeah, it, lo it looks really good. That makes sense, Fury. Also, I, I wanted to say thank you so much for, for retweeting my uh, my super extensive legendaries guide for Kadomon the other day. I, I know... Um, I, I was hoping the, the video would do like a little bit better immediately, but like you said, it's more of like an evergreen content where it's going to be useful for people in the future. So hopefully that continues to, to do pretty well and... I'm getting back to doing, like, some normal series stuff for Kadomon, and I just got turned into a game ambassador today, and uh, we'll, we'll see how that rolls. That should be exciting, because um, I'll have early access and stuff. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm just gonna jump onto this screen. There we go. Going to claim. Here we go. All right. I am going to go ahead and get this game downloaded and then update the title and whatnot. So this is the beta test for Interstellar Plunderer. So let me let me go ahead and set this all up. I feel like I need an N64 controller to play this game. I should have bought one for 30 bucks the last time I was at Ebenezer's. Damn. I really should have done that. Um. Yeah, because they're, they're like making brand new N64 controllers with like good modern thumbsticks and stuff. They look really good. But I didn't pull the trigger last time because I'm like, when am I ever going to want to use an N64 controller? Like, nobody actually wants to use them. <laughs> but now I finally got a game where I do want to use it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let me swap over the title. Interstellar Plunderer. Star Fox just became a roguelike. There we go. That's that's a good title, I think. Maybe. Alrighty. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited to give this game a go. Should be fun. Got the, the diamond of loading. This should be a pretty cool one. This one was at the top of my list. I'm, I'm gonna go with the English, that seems good. A little, little bit of a bop to start. I might have to adjust my camera positioning, we'll see. These, these games tend to be pretty active with all the stuff going on on screen. Are we just going right in? Ooh. Oh man, this brings me back. L to move your spaceship, RB to accelerate your ship's RT. 
Let's accelerate lateral movement. Okay, so there, there's auto aim with the blue reticle. X to activate your spaceship ability. Collect the diamonds to level up. Okay. So we've got increase the velocity of your ship. Increase your damage dealt from all sources. Increase the vertical and horizontal speed of your ship. We'll go for the damage first, I think. As time goes by, as enemies become more dangerous, stay on your toes, pilot. Okay. Sick. Okay. Oh shit, okay, they're, they're firing back now. Interesting. They got, they got bombs, this looks awesome. Ruby, this is sick so far, this is really cool. I'm really into this. <clears throat> Increase, increase your ship's lock-on area. Increase the attack of your ship upgrades. We can, we can just get even attack speed. Evasive maneuver. Increase the vertical and horizontal speed of your ship. I'm, I'm going to go for, like, raw damage for now. I, th I think that's a pretty pog uh, way of building up. Oh, man. We're missing out on loot. <laughs> How sick is that? How fucking cool is this? This this brings me back, man. This is awesome. Evasive maneuver, lock on, velocity. I, I want to... Uh, I don't know why I'd want my velocity higher, but evasive maneuver seems good. Let's go for that. Oh man, oh man. Okay. Trying to land all these shots. Oh, lasers. Dude. <laughs> this is sick. I hope they add some more interesting upgrades along this line, because so far these are pretty basic. But keep in mind, this is an early access variant of the game. I'm going to keep going ham with the attack speed. We're, we're getting really powerful. Alien invasion event, what? Oh man, I can't wait to see what the bosses are like. It's gonna be so cool. Ooh, we got an extra shield. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is getting a little serious. They started us off easy, but this shit is gonna get crazy. I guarantee it. Oh, what? What does that do? Oh, does that make me faster? Do I want to hit those? Oh, here we go. Now we got some spicier stuff. Your ship can target an extra object, but lowers your shooting speed. Uh, when you use your active skill, fires a pulse that deals low damage and knocks back enemies. Occasionally fire a slow-moving uh, explosive projectile. All right, have a good in there, Scar. Thank you for hanging out. Um, Multi-target seems pretty good. We already have pretty high attack speed. Ooh. Okay. Uh, more damage, please. More, more damage, more gooder. Damn it, dude. I gotta like try and hit all those things. Dude, it's it's hard to like gather all this stuff. I feel like I'm missing a lot of XP. It it does not have like a super wide radius. Oh my god. Okay, I think we just took a damage there. We got our first boss. Whoa, dude, <laughs> he's so 3D. Wait, I just got shotgunned. Okay, you gotta be careful. This is very Star Fox, where you have to dodge, but you also have to. Oh my god, but you also have to like try and keep your aim trained on them. It's pretty tricky. I gotta remember that I can use my my speed mode to go a little faster. Oh man. Okay. Oh man. 
Okay. So one of those is always going to be weaker than the others. Dude, this is sick. I wonder if this game is like false 2D or false 3D. I'm actually not sure which. Oh, that's an EMP. Oh. Kill the EMP. Oh my god. Okay, good. Wait, is that the boss's health? Have we been doing Zilcho damage? Have I been doing just no damage to speak of this whole time? Okay. We gotta use our... Uh... Remember that I went, like, pure damage. So there, there might be, like, a hidden way to deal extra damage for this boss. Oh my god! Wait, I have no life left. I'm dead in one more hit. Dude, this game's hard. They actually really expect you to perform on this one. For a first boss fight? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that was my EXP bar, not the boss health. Good. Okay, evasive maneuver, overclocking, light speed. Let's take uh, evasive maneuver. I think we could use the extra, extra speed. And we'll take a level of lock on now, too. Alien orbit. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, that's good. We gotta try and gather the, the goodies for this. Yeah, this this is a great idea. I'm really glad we decided to do this key mailer thing. Because it's one of those things that there's, there's so many games that are, like, so easily overlooked. And, um... You know, I'm, I'm guilty of it, too. Especially on, on key mailer when there's, like, literal shovelware alongside good games like this. Sometimes you just miss them. Oh my god. Oh, shield. Yes. Yes. We're back on track. Okay. Give me all of the goodies. It does have the thing where it's, it's like, hard to tell what's right in front of you sometimes. Sting drone. Spawn a small drone that follows you and shoots independently. Your ship can target extra. Or, it, let, let's take the Sting Drone. That sounds cool. Have a little guy helping us out. We'll ignore that one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, f I feel like this is the sort of game that's for a very specific group of people. And that group of people is going to really like it. Oh! <laughs> I got blasted out of nowhere! Damn, dude. Okay. I bet this game would go well on phone, too. Because I feel like you could just control this with the mouse. Right now I'm using controller, just because, like, that's what I played Star Fox with. The symbol indicates which attributes can be improved. Here is the preview of the upgrade cost. So it's 15. Um, I have 75 yellow things. I guess we'll we'll get HP first, and then we'll get that. And this is attack speed. This is thrust. This is I don't know what this one is. Okay, I guess that's all the upgrades we can do. Okay, you can check achievements and progress here. Completing achievements will unlock new upgrades for the spaceship. Perfect. Okay, that's great because I I did think that there was it was like a little bit um. There wasn't too many options for upgrades, so I was hoping that they would have something about that. And they do, which is awesome. Take five damage in a single run. Pick up a hundred plunder in a single run. Don't stop me now. Reach a speed of 200 meters per second. Reach level 25 in a single run. Um, defeat the en extreme police interceptor. Okay, and what what does that do? Missile launcher. Add a chance. Okay, so that that's the missile launcher that we unlocked. Cool. So we unlocked that mid run as well. And there's more. There's more ships as well. There's quite a few different ships. Um. The mole. Forklift certified. <laughs> Destroy 50 asteroids. 
Ghostbuster, defeat the Stalker event three times. Uh, the Gazer, in space, no one can hear you scream. Defeat the Alien Overlord twice in the same run. Interstellar, uh, Plunderer, reach a score of 50,000 as the Plunderer. Okay, cool. Okay. So shield boosts, very important. Let's keep an eye out for those. And now we get a little bit of bonus health to, to start with. Um, we're going to go with offensive systems right away. So they boost all damage sources. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so easy to almost take damage in this game. Okay. Uh, let's grab lock on early. I think early game, it's good to focus on offense, and then later it's better to focus on evasion while you're... While you're once you're, like, doing some actual damage. Missile launcher this early would be great. Oh, man. Sometimes you have to choose between killing and, ki it like, clearing. Which is an interesting thing to have to choose between. I'm definitely not used to that in a game. Normally you can kill everything, but that definitely doesn't feel like the case in this scenario. Where you're just so fast. And everything just comes at you so quick. Slow firing explosive projectile. Let's go for like an explosive build this time. Because that's kind of what we're going for. These guys are trying to get right up in my grill. Got an asteroid field, oh my god. Okay, these ones have stuff in them, so we definitely want to go for those every time we see them. Oh, extra shield. Oh, we can't have extra max shield. Okay, that's good to know. It looks like the basic ones have some stuff in them, too. Which is great. Dude, this, is, uh, this game is sick. This is great. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I wonder what the purpose of going fast is. Like, do you get some sort of benefit for going faster? Let's go with offensive system. These guys will try to get right in, up in your grill at the last second. Ooh, we took a hit. Too bad we can't do a barrel roll. Maybe we get that ability eventually. Although, I do think that might be too strong. I don't know. This is making me want to like. I, they're, they're need to, they need to keep making Star Fox likes. This is a, a fun way to play a video game. It's like the weird fake 3D stuff. Oh, new guy! Confirmed the bosses. Uh, there, there's more than one like starting boss. Whoa! Okay. This guy's got some serious stuff going on. I'm trying to get all those eyes closed. So far, so good. He's, he's flipping upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one coming. Okay. Get that last eye. Oh, he's pissed! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I'll catch up with chat in a second here. Okay. He killed his own dudes. God damn. Oh, my God. Let's go. This is so cool. Oh, I got hit. Okay. Oh, we got him. Let's friggin' go, dude. Whew. Enjoy the cooking there, Fury. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. If you like this, you might uh, check out Whisker Squadron Survivor sometime. Very similar with a more modern aesthetic. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm game. Okay, let's get more missiles. We're going for, like, a missile-centric build kind of the objective here. To be very explodey. Holy. Getting serious now. They're not, they're not pulling any punches. Let's get a larger lock-on system, because I think that's really strong, especially with all the missiles that we're firing off. Hopefully we can get, like, a, a tractor beam or something for our XP as well, because that would be really good. That would be really, really good, I think. 
Some of these missiles are freaking me out, <laughs> I gotta say. Okay. More space mines? Just more, more of that would be great. We're, we'll heal back up a little bit. We need one more of those. And we'll be back in good health. Which is great. Yeah, that extra lock-on range is kicking ass. The, the missile build is definitely doing some work. Oh man, I really don't know how I like going fast. Like, I, I feel like I want to go slow. So I can kill everything. Because it limits my ability to do so. What is- oh, it's a stalker event! This is the thing that they were talking about. Okay. Let's see if we can take this guy out. He do be working hard to try and kill me. He's a bulky guy. <laughs> like, uh, I like everything about this. Oh my god. Okay. Another missile launcher. Don't mind if I did. Is the did the stalker go down or did it just not get killed in time? I don't know. I'm not sure. Big boom. That was awesome. Okay. You're blowing up a lot of things. More missiles. More missiles, please. Just all the missiles. <laughs> Seems like we've got a very high chance of spawning a missile at this point. Okay. This boss again. This guy was pretty tanky last time. I gotta look for alternate spots to shoot at them, but so far it looks like we just have to shoot the, the glass, which I guess makes sense. Our lock-on range is much higher this time, which is great. We gotta start using our ability more. Something that I've been neglecting pretty heavily. And that seems to be one of the, the main differences. Oh, I still got hit! Oh, no! Okay. Ow. Bullet sponge achievement acquired. We are on zero HP, so no more getting hit. Let's hope we can manage this fight. Oh, my God. I wonder how much the hitboxes matter. What? What hit me? Oh my god. That is so unfortunate. Okay, let's do one more run. And then we'll, uh... We'll carry on to the next game on the list. Because we do have, uh... Two more games to get through today. And I don't want to stream too late. I can't be going all day. Okay. You definitely have to start using, like speed mode more. Debt collector. Each hit causes the enemy to take slightly more damage. Okay, so we can go for like an attack speed build. That sounds cool. Um, overclocking would be good for that. Okay. Still not sure of why you should be going fast. More debt collector seems more gooder. It definitely seems like early game when you have um, the ability to just like spam pick a thing. It's very good. It seems really strong that I can just... Oh wow, I just dove into that bullet. That was very silly of me. Okay. Um, we'll take offense system. That's good. Oh my god, we're doing like 75 damage on our second hit. Or second or third hit, one of the two. It seems like the damage is scaling up really well. There we go. Beautiful. Multi-shot is not what I'm looking for. I'll pick a Sting Drone. That'll ramp its damage up. Police chase event? What? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> a lot of things. I managed to gather the thing that I wanted without getting hit there. That was good. 
not sure which one the, the police are. Uh, we'll go for more debt collector. Our first shot will be weaker than the other ones, but the everything is gonna like subsequently get really strong. Okay. Yeah, the, the speed's weird, because it just means that you don't get to kill as much. I guess you don't have to kill every single thing that you see, but like I, I don't know how that does for scaling. I'm gonna keep going Debt Collector, because that one is very good so far. This guy came out of nowhere. Okay, let's try uh, Lock On again. We're definitely gonna go Lock On. I think Lock On's just super strong. At some point we might try Light Speed just to see what it does. But yeah, this this game seems like it's it's actually like genuinely pretty hard. It's quite different from what I'm used to playing. Which is probably partly why. Okay. Deck collector should be pretty good in this fight, if I had to guess. What was that? Just tried to tentacle me. Okay. Only a couple more eyes to go. One more. What? I was not ready. I was not ready for that one at all. That is a tough attack to die. What hit me? I didn't even see what hit me that time. Bruh, I got blown up. He just did completely different things that time. That's a way harder attack to dodge. I was not ready. I was not prepared. Okay, so we didn't get any unlocks that time. Looks like we can get our attack speed up, which is good. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to call it there for Interstellar Plunderer, but this game is quite fun. It's a good time. One thing I hope they do is uh, they do the Star Fox thing, where sometimes you're not just going in a straight line. Sometimes you get to, like, fly around a planet in, like, a mini game or something. I think that would be cool. Um, some more, like, dexterity challenges of, of, like, trying to fly through obstacles would be fun rather than just pure combat. But yeah, I, I do think this game's a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they continue to progress it as well. This is pretty sick. I'd HUD, I'd score pop-up. Huh, nice. There's a, a bunch of different little things going on here. And then here we've, we've got, oh, we've got fonts as well. That's cool. Nice. This game was done in Godot. Alrighty. Perfect. Uh, two more games on the list that we're going to be checking out today. Let me see here. It's a good time. A cute little game for sure. Um, what's up next here? So we've got, uh, Maniac or Bear Cycle. What would you like to see, chat? Your mic suddenly got very delayed. Yeah, it does that when, like, certain games close out. We it should be fixed now. Maniac? Okay, we got one vote for Maniac. Anyone counter-voting or uh, another vote for Maniac will clinch it? Two for Maniac. There you go. All right, Maniac is up next then. Let's do it. Let's do a little bit of Maniac. Boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. I could see myself playing some more Interstellar Plunder on my own time too. It's a pretty chill game. Pretty chill game. Um, thankfully, I already downloaded the keys, so you can't yoink that. Maniac. I think that's one of the keys that I've got here. Yeah. Give me one second here, chat. I gotta take this off the screen. Redeem. Alrighty. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is going to be pretty cool, I imagine.
Here we go. This is the beta test for Maniac. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Chat. Chat, I'm out of space on my hard drive. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be a problem today, but honestly, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, Russian Fishing 4. We're going to open up with an uninstall on that. There we go. Uh, next game, I, I guess we can start installing this now, probably, because that was a big game. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the Hammer of Virtue demo. Rest in peace. Really enjoyed that game. Uh, what? This is what happens when you leave every single game you've ever played installed. It's just not a good habit, but like, it's so hard for me to stop. It's so hard. Like, what if I want to go play PUBG with like? infinite or something what if i want to go do the remnant 2 dlc what if i want to play a round of cake game you know hang on i'm gonna clear out my uh my holding bay a little bit let's just dump a bunch of things out of there because i guarantee you i've got like a billion of these that i don't need up here um just grab all the Katomon stuff. All this is that that's that's a lot. Okay, let's cut that and put it into raw footage 2024. My my giant Omega hard drive is making funny sounds. There we go. That'll give us lots of space for the rest of the day. <laughs> for the rest of the day and probably nothing more. Especially if I decide to record later today. We'll see. We will see. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and swap over to... Maniac. GTA Rampage Survivor. Like. There we go. Boom. Let's give it a go. Let us give it a go. Alrighty. Here is Maniac. Um, we're gonna keyboard mouse it. And we're gonna GTA style it. Nah. Yes. Alright. Cool. Dude, that was pretty cool. That's nifty. Alright, so we've got Santa. Motive. Drunk. Unemployed and nothing to lose. High health. High impact resistance. Has the perk of crash resistance, poor gun handling, and poor speed. So he, he's a he's a car guy. Don't worry, I'm a car guy too. Survive 20 minutes reach to reach nuclear strike. Drink pina colada with babes. Okay. Uh, the purpose of our lives is to be happy. True, dude. Okay, so there, there's these are meta progression things. We've got kick in face ability. <laughs> I like that. Okay. All right. I, th I think I I think I get it. Okay. Here we go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. Space bar is to run. Grab this car, I guess. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. 
hang on. Okay, we got we can kick. It's good to know. <laughs> give me the give me the vehicle. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> okay, what's this? Um, okay, small gun, big dreams, increase all inflicted damage, increase pickup range, increases amount of money collected. Uh, I am big greedman. Can't help myself. I'm stealing the. Can I steal the cop car? <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay. Wait, can I steal the cop car? Oh my god, they're killing people for me. Yeah, I did just steal the cop car. Nice. <laughs> okay, so there's a handbrake. Cool. Hang on, I want to. I want to knock one of these bricks into the water. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Good, 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 good. Got him. All right, we can get an Uzi Nitro. Faster running speed, more resistance. Okay, let, let's get the Uzi, because we could probably use a gun. I think a gun sounds pretty good. Give me taxi! There we go. Ooh, those guys drop HP. Gun. Okay, we don't even have to get out of the car for the XP, which is great. Okay, carjacker. Upgrades for current car only. Additional protection against bumps and bullets restores car health. I think we want Carjacker because we're kind of like a car guy on this run. <laughs> but I would like to get Nitro at some point too. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> this game is just... Merry Christmas! <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Ah. E. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we gotta go get our level up. Is it GTA? This is a GTA Survivors like that just came out called Maniac. The chat voted for me to play it. Uh, if, if you look at the... the uh, actually, it's not pin... Oh my god, this car is about to go. Okay. It's Christmas Eve, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. Yo. See ya, idiots. Okay. Driver. I definitely think I want driver. It seems good. Oh my god, I blasted through him. Like it was nothing. Amazing. Yeah, GTA 1 and 2 were top down, that's true. That's true. I never played the original two GTAs. Alrighty. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty going pretty good so far, I gotta say. The off-roading is effective. Oh no. We're getting like uh oh. This is getting bad. I want the money. Okay. It's time to Oh my god, I got out of there just in time. Oh jeez. Not that car. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Need to find someone to heal me. You, you, you heal me. You heal people, right? No, maybe not. Okay. We're back in the car. We did get a tire blown, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's it's 15 minutes until nuke. Oh my god. It's a miracle. Dude. 
Oh, you can shoot as you're driving. That makes sense. For some reason, I didn't expect that. <laughs> My god. This is such chaos, man. It's kind of amazing. I used to love going on GTA ramp rampages in Vice City, by the way. Like, that was an actual pastime of mine. Okay. Um... I don't know what this does, but I'm gonna take it. Pardon me. I like the the way the your objective seems to move around with the level ups. It seems pretty cool. It seems like a good mechanic to keep the, the player moving from area to area, which is often a problem in survivor games. Okay. Alley brawler, faster running speed, reinforced bumper upgrade, current car only, frontal impacts are Okay. Did they remake the OG GTA? No. Should totally try GTA uh, 2 after this for comparison. How much is GTA 2? I was thinking about getting Vangers, but um, that that's like a whole nother. That that came out the same around the same time as the the original GTA, and I always found a ton of intrigue in that game. I just never ended up playing it myself. It's on my wish list though. I've been waiting for a sale, and it just never seems to happen. Never seems to go on sale. Okay. Time to get out of that thing. Taxi! <laughs> oh my god. What a gorgeous flip. Okay. Nitro edge engine. We don't want to do any of those. We'll take this one. Man, I didn't realize how fortunate I was to come across that HP earlier. It seems like it's surprisingly unlikely. <laughs> this is a little monka. They're shooting each other and stuff. I guess is a positive for me. Okay. Uh, increased vehicle armor increases resistance against impacts. Um, upgrade for current car only, upgrade, okay, so let's take the, the iron monster. I'm just gonna make all my future vehicles better. Because we're definitely not taking very good care of our current vehicles, oh my god. Pardon me, excuse me, would like a vehicle, thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm in, I'm not in the vehicle I thought I was in. Wow, that was a lot of exploding that happened over there. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if we're gonna survive. I'm gonna try, but it's it's not looking good. I gotta say. Love that there's just random jumps you can take. And the NPCs are good enough to take the jumps too. That's a hell yeah from me. Okay, let's do a heal, because we're, we're pretty low. Definitely seemed like the time. Get out of my way, pink car! Oh my god. I gotta get Nitro, that would be a good one to have. <laughs> this, is, this is great. This is pretty solid too. Definitely a lot of a lot of games that just like I if it weren't for today, I never would have given Maniac a try. This is GTA 2. No, this is not GTA 2. This is Maniac. And uh, obviously it's inspired by GTA. Okay. Oh shit, the, the military's getting involved. Allows playing, playing baseball without a ball can push away incoming bullets and cars. That seems really good. How do I swap to that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do I how do I swap to that, I wonder? Okay. It's almost time to get out of this car. I'd like to have another car to get into though. There we go. Just blow these guys up. Alright, it's time to get out of that thing. Oh, I just got hit by a vehicle. It's pretty rude. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Get me in this thing! We took so much damage. It's very clear to me that cars are, like, mandatory. No, I've never had it where they're half solid. That's That sounds like amazing luck. That sounds incredibly fortunate. Apparently at some point I picked up an assault rifle. Which is cool. Oh no. Oh, that's a tank! Oh, that's an RPG! Oh my god. Amber lamps! Amber lamps! That's not the vehicle I asked for. Oh my god, I'm getting exploded by a tank. <laughs> I need healing. I need healing so badly. Hopefully we can find some. Look at all these people. Yeah. This game is only $5. That's a sick deal. It's definitely a sick deal. I count that as a tank because it has a... I think you can have an untreaded tank. But maybe that's not true. It's some sort of, like, mobile assault vehicle, though, obviously. That is the whole point of it. Oh my god, I need to get up there and I need to heal. I need to learn how to heal more consistently in this game. I think that's, like, one of my biggest problems. Is that I don't know how to heal consistently. I'm assuming that there's there's got to be some sort of consistent healing. Okay, yes, heal me. <laughs> heal me, please. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. Alright. Everything's fine. Only nine minutes to the nuke. And then everybody gets to die. Which doesn't seem very reasonable to me. Like, surely they didn't have to kill everybody and ruin the city. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think I crashed into the helicopter. I crashed into a thing below the helicopter. Okay. More healing, please. There we go. We're back up to full health. We're hanging in there. Still wish I knew how to do the baseball bat stuff, but that's okay. Did I just kill a baby? <laughs> I think I just heard a baby cry. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this looks dangerous. This looks very dangerous. Okay. Sniper rifle. Let's just take Psychopath, I guess. Increase more damage. That seems pretty good. Dude. <laughs> The way the cars just start to roll out of control is so cool. Oh, that's a... I mean, if that isn't a tank, I don't know what is. Get me out of here. Um, spiked bumper, upgrade for this car only. Are they all upgrade for current car only? They are. Allows better frontal car impacts without health loss. I guess that sounds pretty good. We'll, we'll give it a try. Maybe we should have been going for explosion proof. Oh my god! <laughs> this tank is on my ass. Okay. <laughs> this is... Oh my god. What a beautiful disaster this is. Okay. Just hanging in there. I'm sure the taxi isn't, like, intended to be the, the endgame car. Please tell me you can take over a tank. I think you can. It's just really hard. We could go for it, I guess. Okay. The problem with tanks is they're slow. Oh my god. Okay. Um, demon engine. 
Fastest engine for max car speed and acceleration restores current car health. I mean, it says demon engine. How fucking cool is that? It's the demon engine, chat. Can you take over a plane or a helicopter? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing you can't take over. <laughs> the the forks on this thing are just crazy. More blood and greater chance for splat. Increase radius of all explosions. Additional protection against bumps, bullets, and explosions. We're gonna wait on the brass armor. I'm gonna take the more gore for now. Yeah. Of course you want the greater chance for splat splatter. <laughs> Okay. They really want me to take the 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 car armor, so we will. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing's getting kind of tanky. Oh my god, the tanks. Get me out of here. Flamethrower. I'm going to go with the explosions for now. Flamethrower does sound cool. So do so do big explosions. <laughs> oh my good god. Get me out of here. It just took so much damage. Roads are now illegal for me. Oh my god. What a mess. What a dang fiasco. Okay, grenade launcher? Yes, please. Okay, so it's got limited range. I kind of want to try and take on some tanks. <laughs> I'm surprised there's still people out and about. More accurate gun aim and speed. C4. That would be good in chases, I guess. Take some C4. Is that the C4? I guess. Oh no, my car! No, dude, my car! I wasn't paying close enough attention. Now we're back to shitter car. My crazy taxi is no more. Let's see if we can steal this tank. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, we got it. We got the tank. This is what you wanted. <laughs> Here we go. Seems pretty good. Shoot the chopper. I don't think I can shoot up. Pretty sure I cannot shoot up. Okay. Worked out pretty well. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Oh no. Please give me some personal space, everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. We gotta get out. <laughs> this is terrifying. Okay. Carjacker would be great. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. There's a missile on me. <laughs> taxi me, taxi me, taxi me. Okay, we're in. Get me out of here. I'm very low on health, so we need to focus on getting HP first. And we'll worry about anything else after that. Got him. <laughs> oh my god, they're shooting lasers at me. It's truly terrifying. Increases vehicle armor. I need the HP. Don't worry about the, the permanent stats later. 
Happy holidays. Okay. The evil Santa is uh, definitely eviling it up. Okay. That missile drop was terrible. Did you see that? <laughs> it was like tumbling. Okay. Go up here. Ooh, I think we unlocked a new uh, new character. The the crazy clown. The crazy clown character. <laughs> I don't know what uh, or how points work in this game, but I'm assuming you get points for murder. So that's what I've been doing. Okay, we definitely need to max out the healing. Driver would be good. I'm gonna take the healing though, like, I, I need it. And hopefully we find, like, another tank, and then we can take that over. I'm looking for another immobile tank, specifically. I think that would be ideal. Okay. Look at all these resp emergency response vehicles trying to do their best to stop me. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, my car. Oh, my life. <laughs> Run is right. Okay, this is the worst vehicle ever to be in. Get me out of here. Um. <laughs> okay, there's UFOs attacking me. Why are there UFOs attacking me? <laughs> Why are there UFOs attacking me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit! This is- we're very much in stay in a car territory or we're, we're gonna die. I wonder if there's other units who, who don't need to like stay in a car to live. Maybe Santa's just the- the premier hijacker. Okay, um... I need to stay healthy. It sucks blowing all my levels this way, but it feels like the correct thing to do. Okay. I don't know what the money does, by the way. Maybe that's just meta currency. Not sure yet. Oh my god. <laughs> the UFOs are secret allies of the US government. Either that or they're they're like stolen. I, they, they stole them from the aliens or something. You never know. Oh my god. Someone help. Taxi, please. I miss having a good car. <laughs> I very much miss having a good car. Only 13 seconds to nuke. We might make it. We might make it after all. There we go. Nuke us. Do it. Yes! <laughs> oh, good. I was too powerful to let live. They didn't have a better option. They had to nuke me. <laughs> oh my god. Rest in peace, Santa. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh my god. It's like, oh yeah, we, we're just gonna have to kill everybody. This is a global threat. This guy's so strong. And so dangerous that he's just- he's going to destroy the entire world if we don't nuke him. <laughs> My god. What a- what a way to end it. Alright. Not shabby. Not too shabby. Alright. There he is. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Oh, these are high- you get high scores. Cool. 
Oh, I only killed 14 babies? Frick. I guess I'll have to work on my baby killing. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that was a stat. <laughs> yeah, there are different characters, indeed. Uh, we, we just played the the drunk Santa. Now we've got Iggy the Clown. Makes everyone laugh. Make everyone laugh is his motive. He's got high health, but not as high as Santa. Significantly less impact resistance. Identical speed, better gun handling. And he's got the perk to reroll. <laughs> I'm not quoting that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Here we go. Permanent smiles. You only live once. Uh, special objects like ATMs give more money. We have zero money. Wait, so does Santa have money? Because I... I spent, uh, or, because I spent time with him? Yes, he does. Uh, only good boys and girls get to feel the magic of this bag. Can push away incoming bullets and cars. Remote detonated joy of Christmas hold button drop more. Classic pump action shotgun found in many happy homes in America. Santa's little helpers. Santa's super sled strike. Okay. I see. So there's like special equipment, and then there's. Oh, wait, no, I. I... <laughs> okay. I want to try out the the clown. So it looks like all these abilities are the same. They just get like different equipment. Okay. And their special is jump. I wonder how that breaks things. Because dodge roll is, like, pretty no-brainer. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, can I honk my horn? Get him. Get him. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. <laughs> okay. Let's see what kind of levels we can get. Wonder if there's an ice cream man. That would be pretty good. An ice cream man would be great. That is a lot of kills. Pardon me, sir. Excuse me. Just passing through. So when you kill a guy, you get their uh, their weapon. All right, so it's it's clear to me. I I think this game is very like you want to just run. M maybe you can be a gun guy, but I mean the extra health bar of the vehicle just seems really hard to pass up. But we'll see. Maybe maybe some of the other units will be significantly better with the uh, with guns to the level where you don't need a car. But, like, with the, the distance that stuff is in, like, away from you. <laughs> that oh no was amazing, but. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Yeah, because a lot of the gameplay they showed was outside of vehicles, which is interesting. Okay, early money magnets is good. Leader didn't really seem to do anything last time. About wow, really lucky close spawn, holy cow. Uh, nails, that's just equipment. Faster running speed. I guess if you take that enough, maybe you could get away with not having uh, a car. Maybe eventually you become faster than a car. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised in a game like this. Trying to recover some of the, the ground that I've been on already so I can gather the the various goodies. This car's definitely going a little slow. I want the classical. Give it to me. <laughs> this 
game seems neo real neat. All the games we've played today have been really fun. They've all been a pretty good time. I think the one that I'm most likely to come back to currently is um, the uh, the Interstellar Plunderer. That one was really cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We just killed a lot of dudes. Outrageous! Dynamite? Um... Car Carjacker is just too good. It's too good to pass up. Yeah, with all the cars, like, going crazy, I, I don't know how you're supposed to... Oh, they got my tires. God damn it. <laughs> that oh no, it reminds me of, like, a smiling friend's oh no. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. We'll go for some time. Okay. Seems pretty good. To the point where I can blow myself up with it. <laughs> it's time to get out of this vehicle. Okay, so the the baseball bat is right click. Ow! Okay. <laughs> Honks are so good. Okay, let, let's try some on foot gameplay for a little bit here. Just to see how it plays. <laughs> you, can, you can totally just baseball bat cars away. Okay, can I jump this? Oh man. Oh, I can go into water. Do I live in water or do I start to die? Looks like I, I don't lose any HP. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> How are they surviving in water? Oh, there's like a million people over here. Honk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is... Speth, how you doing? Welcome on in. I was this game, I was eyeballing it earlier this week. So far, so good. I'm having a good time with it. It's, uh, it's just a friggin' goofy thing. You can grab it on Keymailer, Speth, for, um... If, if you intend on streaming it at all. Could be a good option for you. Ow. Oh my god. That's a lot of dudes. Okay, I definitely need more gore. For reasons. And now that we're kind of low, let's uh, avoid taking any more damage. Loved old school GTA, you might? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's five bucks, even if you don't intend on streaming it. It's a pretty much a steal for the, the content that's been in this so far. It's been pretty fun. Alright. Looks like we need to... Oh man, a little, little bit of dynamite. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good dynamite throw. Okay. Uh, we'll take leader here. I'm looking for permanent upgrades currently my objective. Alright. That was a very good explosion. Oh no. Oh man. In a bit of a dangerous location. <laughs> Things good. Everybody's blowing up but me. That's what we're looking to see. <laughs> more dynamite. More dynamite. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing some, uh, doing a survival roguelike game. Roguelikes are just such a good genre to get into. Because it's so broad. You get, a, you get a lot of different content. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I'm 100% getting killed here. Please skip car. Oh my god. Alright. Rest and rip. Did not survive. 
I think Santa is uh, a fair bit better. If you have a remote detonated bomb, you can hold the button to release more. Okay, interesting. So we can get a chainsaw, primarily used for cutting trees and logs. However, other uses are possible. Can push away bullets and in incoming cars. Uh, could be wrong with balloons. Jump plus. Isn't the one character unlock a baby? I don't think so. They, they look like they're just a hot dog. Which is different. Okay, chainsaw time. <laughs> Why? Okay. Alright. Bro, I haven't even done anything yet. Why are you sending the cops after me? How do you unlock the new characters? Um, I don't know. I assume just by committing murder. That generally seems to be the answer. So yeah, doing non-car strats seemed really bad. It seems like this game is very much about cars doing... You gotta, you gotta have a car. Cops just hate you. Yeah, that's what it is. Cops just hate cars. Alright. What did I pick up? Is there like a knife on the end of my car? On the end of my bike? <laughs> okay. Are you kidding me? Alright. Yeah, I agree. Speed does seem to be the key. I gotta learn to drift more. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I love the honk. Oh, come on. How did I not get that? <laughs> okay. Uh, Iron Monster is very good. We're, we're gonna focus on, like, hyper-leveling this time. I think leveling up is like, uh, obviously, th so this this is more of a raw survival game. You don't actually have to kill anybody. That could be a fun challenge, doing a pacifist run. <laughs> it could be interesting. I bet a pacifist run of this game would be very hard. <laughs> Yeah, jou essentially joust jousting. Just murder all these guys. What might I do? Okay. Hit that person. <laughs> yeah, I should probably be shooting more. Obey traffic laws, don't murder everyone. Good luck obeying traffic laws when there's crazy cops doing this sort of thing at you. I love how if you hold down the <laughs> the thing when you get out, it still uh, continues driving forward. That's cool. No, my tires again. <laughs> okay. Psychopath seems pog. I want this Jeep. Excuse me, pardon me. Give me the Jeep. Surely there's a, like, a vehicle that is, like, abandoned. Surely. Okay. Give me the truck. Thank you. That cop shot another cop. That's not my fault. <laughs> it's not, I, I had nothing to do with that. I was a bystander. Oh my goodness. Alright. Um. We are now on zero. Okay. Me, mom. <laughs> Steal the. Okay. Oh my god. Steal the. Steal this one. There we go. Alright, have a good day, Spathland. Thank you for dropping by and checking things out. Catch you next time. Wait, ambulance is kind of like it's 
sick. Currently. Looking pretty good. It's like fast and responsive and uh, pretty bulky. Seems like a good option so far. Um, we're just gonna take leader. I wanna see what leader does. Although I'm not sure if I'll figure it out while I'm in a car. It might be a strictly no car ability. Oh, I killed a baby! <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> this is Maniac. You can get mines. Mines sound like a pretty good item. Oh my god, you just like leave them right behind you. Seems good. <laughs> mines seem very good. Okay. Wow, I launched right over the, the thing there. That was awesome. Mine seem like a, a no-brainer. Nitro. Definitely want that. Mirror. Oh my god. I didn't realize it was gonna replace what it replaced. Okay. Excuse me, pardon me. Carney tilt, it's fine. Zoom. Does the nitro make you jump? Looks like the Nitro might make you jump. Could definitely use a better, uh, better, like, weapon at this point. Okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> nitro does, in fact, make you jump. Um. Car is still fine. Except the part where I got out of it. That's less good. Okay. <laughs> the jump mechanic is kind of insanity. Wait, you can, you can like jump on top of vehicles? Okay. That seems abusable. Zoom. What is that? I think we just got a shotgun. Nice. Seems good. <laughs> the jump seems really strong. Okay. Get that out of the way. It's like the feather from uh, Mario Kart. That's what it reminds me of. Boom. We are murdering up a storm today. Uh, let's go ahead and take Carjacker. That one's very good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Please give me that. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh my god. I got yeeted so hard. Okay. I'm just trying to min-max for, like, driving skills. Dude, that is so good. Okay. Aurora. I just realized that I have re-rolls on this guy. I need to start re-rolling more often. Wait, did I... Why aren't there any more dudes? Did I max my level up or something? <laughs> this is strong. Wait, I heard a baby. Oh, they're, they're already dead. Rip. <laughs> Why is this game like this? I feel like I'm gonna get put on a list. Did I get all the level ups or something? I don't think so. I don't think that's how this works, right? Uh oh. Get me out of here. <laughs> God damn. I don't know why you got uh auto detected their casual watcher for saying military in all caps <laughs> I don't know why I did that to you oh my god which please 
see you nerds. Can I? I cannot stop that. Ow. I'm taking a lot of damage here. I'm gonna take the heal. It's nice that the heal seems to show up consistently once you've uh, once you've gotten the the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, maybe you can steal from the, or yoink the helicopters. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Okay, we are so boned. I didn't realize how broken the crash resistance was on the other, the other dude. God. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Clown getting taken downtown. Damn. Ooh, we got a bunch of achievements. We unlocked the katana. Neat. Each car has different strength, speed, and impact resistance. Okay. Um, Let's go back to Santa. They seem a lot better. Okay. Um... Definitely want roll. This roll's good. Gonna take a level of iron monster and bag of gifts. Driver, because they're very good for driving. Bulletproof vest seems really good. And we'll try this out. Here we go. I, maybe, I, I don't know if I can, oh my god, I'm multi-roll now. <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. Horatio redeemed something really good, what do you have in mind there, Horatio? Hella divers. Um, yeah, we could do some, some hell divers tonight. I'm planning on ending stream a little bit early today, just so I can... I, I've been really, really low on energy, so I, I very much need to try and take the time to recover. Because I haven't really been taking care of that part of myself, I've just been working super hard at YouTube and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that sort of thing is going to catch up with me if I don't take some time to just chill out. <laughs> Maybe you could do a pacifist, <laughs> I don't know. It's possible. It's a lot of money. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh, this thing just rips through stuff. It is a fair bit slower, I guess. Definitely taking Nitro immediately. Nitro is just super strong. <laughs> All right, well that thing is done for. Okay. Pardon me, excuse me. Just need this taxi. <laughs> the way it like slams down on vehicles is so good. It's so dang good. Okay. Grab carjacker, because we're, we're going to try and, like, yoink a good car at some point. Oh, my God. What's that? Can I get that somehow? I don't know how you would get that, but that seems cool. I'm going to take a car. That seems like my best chance at getting out. Yeet. <laughs> there we go. Ambulance is the better. Ambulance might be meta. Seems pretty good. I know for one thing, this thing is definitely not meta. It's super... Whoa, did you see it just zoom? What the heck? Try fire truck. Fire truck would be... It's pretty broken in other games. That might be a good idea. Here we go. You got ambulance. Ambulance is undeniably very good. Boost does hurt the vehicle. Oh, there goes a the baby. <laughs> gonna... Oh my god. 
get in trouble for that. That's for certain. Okay. <laughs> What's a sick jump? I still can't get over the jumping mechanic in that one game we played. The 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 hammer game. <laughs> oh man. Money magnet. Money magnet. It feels like the money should like come out of people faster. I don't know. Maybe that's just a a me thing. Is there a reason why there aren't more dudes showing up? Maybe because I'm not killing enough? There we go. Try killing more dudes. Gonna knock down umbrellas. <laughs> God. Okay, we also need to do something to taxis. I don't know if that's destroy or hijack. Or both. This is this is a good spot. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. Did not seem to do anything extra. God, there, this is like the classic stack up that happens in these games, where everything's just getting so absurd in one little area. bit of this. This thing's about to die. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's see how the minivan does. Well, I guess we're not gonna see very long how the minivan does, because we just lost the tires. Can't get over there. Get out of my way. And <laughs> we just jumped over them. Are we in a carnival of some sort? Kind of what it looks like. Okay. Um, I still don't know what leader does, so we're just gonna take that instead. <laughs> oh my god. I do like the the physics in this game. It's a good time. Can we sneak through somewhere here? There we go. I think we're ready to swap vehicles. Alright. <laughs> what about this thing? Is this a school bus? I think this is a school bus that I just stole. <laughs> These kids. These kids. I love that the nitro canister just gets to come with you. It means you can just have it for every vehicle you're using. Pretty strong. Oh my god. Wait, that's so much money that fell? Where did that all come from? I wonder if I can get, like, some way to jump high enough into the sky to actually steal one of the helicopters. Because it seemed like the the clown might be able to do something like that. Alright. Dynamite seems good. Oh, wait, I just got rid of my nitro, dang it. I guess we're, we're doing some dynamite-related activities. So I think that um, the level-ups are dependent on what level of... Um, rampage you're on so maybe once you're done rampaging and being like in the car um, th then you'd like don't worry about it as much I don't know you set up in an area try to like build a farm like, <laughs> just driving sideways very impressive okay. just blow everybody up with dynamite I really like the dynamite I kind of don't like the the Q being the button, though. The button of choice. It means that I have to take my 
ring finger off of A. Which isn't great. <laughs> Be better on a different key for sure. Oh, I blew myself up. <laughs> I like that you can do jumps like that. Oh, here's my chance for a fire truck. Here we go. Oh. I was really hoping to get to use the fire hose. But that doesn't seem to be an option, sadly. Keep throwing the dynamite in front of me. It definitely seems pretty fast. Okay, let, let's see if we can spice this thing up to be good. We'll, we'll try to commit to it. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting fast. Okay, take the armor, or the, the tank stats. Oh my god. It's very tanky so far. <laughs> no! Just a full rollover. I'm like too fast now, almost. I think powering up like a, a larger vehicle like this is, is more ideal than powering up a smaller vehicle, maybe. Well, that's, that's certainly how it seems so far. I don't know if that's the case. This game definitely feels like there's there's gonna be like a, a growing meta to it. To like make the, the optimum score. Make the optimum score happen. Dang wall in my way. This thing has a terrible turn radius. It's like the one problem that I have with it. Okay, reinforce the bumper again. Extra reinforce the bumper. It doesn't too feel too bad in this game going for the, the one-off upgrades. Like it does in so many other games. Because the upgrades aren't, like, that crazy most of the time. Which I, I think I really appreciate. It's more about strategy than doing anything else. Just, like, picking the, the right vehicle and picking some decent pathways and stuff. And then there's, like, the score attacking element as well. Although I, I do regret getting rid of my... Oh my god, we're gonna have to back up. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Backing up. Oh my god, it wasn't worth it at all. My fire truck. No! My fire truck. God damn it. God damn it. They destroyed my beautiful fire truck. Now what am I supposed to drive? This giant thing? I guess. Oh man, I should really just be exploding stuff more, shouldn't I? Just explode everything with dynamite. Okay. <laughs> the mass roll is so goofy. I bet if you stack that roll up high enough, you can just be Sonic the, Han the Santa hog. It would just be really good. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Okay, let's head up this way. I think this is gonna be my last life. And then we'll we'll try the last game on the list. Which I believe is Bear Cycle. And we'll just try that one out briefly for like an hour. Uh let's grab grenade launchers. We got bigger explosions. More and larger explosions seems good. Grenade launcher might be, like, the best weapon. Excuse me, pardon me. We've taken very little damage so far. I'm gonna take this thing. Yoink! <laughs> this thing's gonna be super tanky, isn't it? Ooh. Noted. I didn't realize we could go this way. Very convenient, thank you. Oh my god, <laughs> that was... <laughs> Absolute chaos incarnate. I like that they let you know when to get out of a, a car, very obviously. This guy's trying to, like, wiggle to escape. You see this? He's like, no! No, I won't let you carjack me! Oh my god. 
just mass explosions over there. Alright. Uh, definitely a higher level of carjackers is going to be needed at this point. With all the, the vehicles leveling up. Or all the best vehicles leveling up, I guess. have over this way. Hopefully a, a good level. No! <laughs> My car! My car! They destroyed it at the last moment. Okay, take money magnet, I guess. Goodness gracious! God damn it! Um, but again, briefly. The, the biggest strat is definitely just to get into a car as fast as you can. You do not want to be out of a vehicle long. I think is the, the honest truth of the situation. Air level of driver seems good. These uh, L lanes are always so good for like mass exploding things. Like, look at this. Look at how wild that is. Excuse me, pardon me, just taking this vehicle. Thank you. <laughs> Can't wait for the tanks to start showing up. Which they'll probably do now. Yeah, there we go. The 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 tiger tanks. Or whatever they're called. Yoink. The demon. Hell yeah. They're gonna be very fast now. Grab Spiked Bumper. We're gonna try to make this thing really good. It's very tippy, which is alarming. <laughs> it's not a very good uh, aspect of this thing currently. But hopefully, with any luck, we can... You know, just tank it up and up and it won't matter. If I flip. Okay. Um, let's take the steel car armor. Seems good. <laughs> the way we're launching vehicles is insane. Oh man. Okay. We're doing our best. I'll definitely take driver three. Every time driver shows up, we're a hundred percent taking it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This game's pretty hard. I definitely think that um, the Santa character is way better than the clown. So far, at least. That's how it feels. That, that truck just got chosen to get demolished. <laughs> okay. Um, Bullet Whispers is fine. I don't really want to shoot this guy. That's going to cause all sorts of problems for me. Alright. We're up to 5,900 money. I, I don't know what a good amount of money on a run is. I, I don't know how I feel about, like, having to get money every single run. I, I think it's cool. The meta currency in this game is very different. It reminds me of, like, something a little bit more old-fashioned. Oh, that wasn't me running over the baby that time. You all saw. That's not on me really bearing witness to the turn radius of this thing right now. I want whatever that golden thing was. Okay, we're getting rather low on health. Oh my god. Alright. This is looking really bad. They might actually get my, my vehicle. Which would suck. Damn it! Oh my god most unfortunate. On the bright side, we've got a fresh one here. <laughs> so I guess it's not the end of the world. I don't think I can steal those those tanks for whatever reason. Yeah, more money magnet. They're definitely making us do some loops. That was a sick shot. It'd be cool if you got points for, like, airtime and stuff. I don't know what that is. No idea. Uh-oh. Ow. 
Please give me fire truck. There we go. We're good. Fire truck is a pretty quick steal these days, which is very nice. I do not have many levels of iron monster. I did just pass up on nitro, but I gotta not exclusively use nitro, you know. Gotta mess around with the the dynamite. Oh, I don't know how, but that plane just got taken out. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know that was even possible. I wonder if I did that. <laughs> or if it was just like some crazy physics that yeeted something out of the air. Oh my god. That's sick. Please give me the mobster car. Thank you. Oh my god. We're gonna get bullied, aren't we? <laughs> that works, I guess. Wow, that took out, like, everything. This is just a goddamn mess here. Ooh, this thing's got, like, a... Some sort of heavy machine gun on the back. It seems worse than the machine... Or than the grenade launcher, though. Guess we won't have to care about it now. <laughs> the special ops are after me now. God, the grenade launcher is so damn good. Okay, we're starting to lose HP, so I gotta begin concerning myself with such things. Getting a tank super stacked would be great, but I need to also make sure that I don't, like, start dealing damage to one and then try to steal it. Because that would be bad. I can't believe their option to stop you is a, a nuke. Okay, we've unlocked the Yild. The Yild has been unlocked. I'm gonna try and steal this thing. There we go. We got it. We got the. We got the tank. It should be pretty good, hopefully. I like that you can reposition yourself by, like, pushing along walls and stuff. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. Blow everything up. Okay, so we do get points for blowing up taxis currently. That is one of the things we should be looking to do. Definitely take more of that. <laughs> Damage is so crazy. What is this? Is that a monument that I destroyed? <laughs> That's what it was looking like. Look at all these people who think they're safe. Unbelievable. How dare they assume they're safe. I guess this would be a good situation to not have nitro, just so you don't end up destroying your own vehicle. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. Um, Psychopath, why not? Doing pretty okay on health. I, I'm hoping that there's like a handful of people in chat who played, um... What was the tank game we were playing for a while there? Gear Up, who played Gear Up with me, <laughs> and they're just getting flashbacks. Oh man, Gear Up was so much fun. What a blast. I hope at some point those devs decide to, like, make that game a little bit more free user friendly. How you doing, Stu Boy? Well, come on in. It's the, the Washington Monument, that's the one. That's the one that we just destroyed. We got it. Ooh, managed to take out a, a helicopter there. Very nice. Oh my god, they just leveled that building over there. Can I climb this? This looks climbable. Oh, let's go! That's sick. Come on, healing. None of these are healing. <laughs> I guess I'll take the carjacker. Oh my god, they got the homing ones. Don't! Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it to me. <laughs> yeah, there's no dodging that one. The 
the homing was too powerful. Dude, what are you supposed to do about these homing things? That's crazy. Okay. Oh, shoot! New tank, please. Hurry, hurry, hurry! We're in. Easy game. Just hang out inside of tanks. Have, a, have an easy life. <laughs> this game's a mess. How you doing today, Stu Boy? What have you been up to? Okay, what do we got? Um, money management, I guess, would be good. No money, less problems, as they say. Pretty sure that's the opposite of what they say, but maybe more true. Maybe more true than the other saying. Die! <laughs> God. Okay. Just a bunch of people. Just been doing some hell divers. Nice. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking I'm gonna call it early, and we'll probably be doing some hell divers. So make sure you're in day off gamers if you're interested in jumping in with us, and uh, and just chill out for a while because I've I've been overdoing it a little bit with uh, with YouTube. Like streaming, I know I've been doing a little bit less, but I've been doing so much YouTube stuff, and it's it's definitely adding up. That's for certain. We okay, only have to live seven more minutes. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> I just took out two helicopters somehow. <laughs> I have no idea how. But I sure did. Okay. Hello. <laughs> that oh no gets me every time, dude. <laughs> The, the tank is the way. The tank is how we continue aliving. It is definitely the biggest strat in this whole game. Um, we could definitely use the health and repair. This is such a flash game, and that that is a good thing. We need more flash games. We need more video games that are just, like, goofing around. This is such a Horatio game. Ooh. <laughs> did you see the triple I showcase? I did not, but I, I did see that uh, Slay the Spire 2 is coming out. And uh, all I can say is, good luck improving upon perfection. I hope they do something zany with it. I already saw that they're doing new characters. Fine. We'll, we'll go Bone Crisper. Or Blast. Dude, this this little beetle, this guy right here, can you see him? This guy right here, this little beetle, keeps hanging out. What am I going to do with you? I'm going to try and put him outside. Give me a second. Beetle should be outside enjoying life now. What about Streets of Rogue 2? I was never really a big Streets of Rogue fan. Congrats on not having cancer there, Horatio. That's great news. That's very pog. Cancer sucks. Pretty sure... Nobody recommends it. God damn. I'm always surprised when the the flyers get knocked out of the sky. Yeah, very good news. Whoa. That was sick. Uh, okay, we're... <laughs> we could get Iron Monster or we could get Nitro. I'm gonna take Iron Monster and hope Nitro shows up later. Boom! So this is gonna make us tankier. These super speedy ones are very scary to deal with. I'm learning a little bit more about like how the tank hitboxes work in this game. 
like exactly where to shoot enemies and stuff. <laughs> Not that these random civilians are enemies, but you know. You know how it is. Come on, heal. No heal. I guess with the driver. I don't think tanks can swivel that fast, right? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Just get to shooting. Sometimes this game has like a moment of chill, and I'm always surprised by that. Remnant 2 DLC announced for 23rd, looking forward to that. Oh man. I never did the f the the first DLC because uh, I was gonna do it with a friend, but his computer like broke. And didn't want to play the game. Okay, we got, we got one of these things. Oh, laser car is so cool. What the hell? Cool as heck. Love me a laser car. It's so fast. This thing is awesome. Look at how fast it is. Meanwhile, I'm driving like a psycho. So we've got two new unlocks off of this run. Which is great. Oh my god. Um, we'll take Psychopath for extra damage. If we're not using a tank, I think extra damage is, like, even more important. With a tank, it's not as big of a deal. Rimworld Anomaly is out today. I've never been much of a Rimworld guy. I prefer the... the Rain World to the Rimworld. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about the term triple I, by the way. Like, I really hope that... Like, I don't know. The, the thing that makes an indie game good is the fact that they're not restricted by, uh, like, money in such a way that it's like, oh, you have to make a dumb... Uh, you, have, you have to make Call of Duty. You're not allowed to do anything new. Like, the whole point of indie games is that, like, the reason why they're better than AAA games and all that sort of thing is because they get to innovate so hard. And you get to have a new experience. So I really do hope that, um, it doesn't, like, hurt the spirit of that at all. Not into Eldritch, uh, body horror stuff. Others that can enjoy it. I like Eldritch stuff, but... I don't know. There's a whole discussion of what is indie now. That's fair, Stu Boy. There, there's, there's like a middle class that's being created for game devs. <laughs> middle, middle class game dev families. <laughs> What is roguelikes? Baby, don't hurt me. Oh my god. Blown up. Did we get to carjack these cars so fast? Former indies that made too much money became famous and non-indie. Yeah, that's that's kind of the thing, right? Like, is, is Mega Crit indie still? How much money did they make? How much money did they put in this latest buyer 2? Like, I imagine they can still make a good game, but are they going to make Slay the Spire 2, or are they going to make Slay the Spire again? I guess that's the point of a, of a sequel, though. It, it, it is to just make build upon the first game. Oh my god, they're shooting me so much. Thank you. What are these laser drive-bys doing to me? Oh my god, we flew over the frickin' thing. So much regret. These UFOs are being real rude. Are they a UFO if I identify them as an alien flying vehicle, though? I feel like at that point they're they're not a, a UFO because it's it's obvious that they obviously that is that is not 
some sort of... I mean, I guess it could be human tech. Who knows? Maybe they've figured out how to make UFOs. How did I do that? I don't know, but I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that, but... There's something about the 2.5D that I took advantage of there. Which... Yeah, we, we did just... It was a little bit of Christmas magic with Drunk Santa. Okay, that's a wall. I should have I should have realized that. I'm getting blown up for sure. Give me your vehicle, please. Thank you. Okay. Easy peasy first. Santa's just a better guy than the clown. I think this is what we're learning. Is that Santa's just way better than the clown. All right. One thing I'd like to see from this game is like more maps. I think that would be good. But I'm glad that there's like a bunch of characters and stuff. I'll take a look at the new unlocks and then I think I'm gonna call the stream. The size of the team is the main thing that defines an indie game to me. Yeah, that's fair. Solo dev is always indie. That seems pretty reasonable. Alrighty. Here we go. We did it. Gaming. I wonder if I got a better score this time. Probably. I feel like I dominated that time. Oh yeah, I just literally blew my full high score out of the, the water there. So we got the, the broker... Uh, stop the divorce and get cut custody again. <laughs> okay. Interesting. He's got starting money. And then we've got the little girl who become the first girl president. That's, that's her mission. She's got an auto turret and a katana and a harpoon. <laughs> She's also got crawl. Crawl under cars to, and don't get hit by bullets. Okay. And then we've got Yuri the Cosmonaut. Who has an AK-47 Molotov gravity gun. <laughs> and a jetpack. Okay. What what's his deal? N now uh all know who's the best in the world. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. And then we ha we need to um, uh, knock down 18 hot dog stands for the hot dog mascot to go crazy. There you go. Alrighty. Well, that's going to be it for me. Uh I hope you enjoyed this unique stream where we we just looked over some friggin goofy games on key mailer i had a lot of fun and uh yeah it was a good time it was a good time you might do bear cycle some other time it's a free game so we can try it out whenever but yeah hammer virtue god damn god damn it's like right on the precipice of being good. Why am I in no way surprised that Hyper has played Hammer Virtue? <laughs> why Why am I not surprised? <laughs> of course he has. Oh my god. And yeah, Interstellar Plunderer, we're def I'm playing more of this game. I'm, I'm definitely going to be chilling out with this game a bunch. This game's super fun. And it just came out the other day. Look at that. And there's a roadmap. Let's take a look at the roadmap really quick. Here's our roadmap. Mobile version. That's a good call. Ship skins and cosmetics. Hell yeah. Challenge update. Let's go. And new stage, new boss, new enemies, new optional final boss, even more new upgrade cards, brand new ship, new upgrades, uh, new ships, more stages, more everything. 25, 25 and beyond. This is a really, really hopeful list. I'm, I'm glad to see that. Because I, I think this game's really fun, but I definitely found 
like a little bit of repetitive repetitiveness. I'm gonna play it some more on my own, and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But um, yeah, there you go. There's there's some video games. I really wanted to to do a, a key mailer thing, and now we did it. And I really appreciate everybody who uh, jumped in. Once again, if you're interested in seeing me do more key mailer stuff, this is your last chance to vote for um, should we do this again. If I if I see that go up, I don't know how, how many people are here. How many people? There's 50 people here. If I see that go up by five, if I see that go up by five, we'll we'll definitely do it right now, or not right now, but like in the future, I'll I'll guarantee this key mailer series continues because uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty good time. Anyway, let's track something down to raid. Keep the good times rolling. Thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate you a whole bunch. Um, you don't know how to vote. You click on the link, and then you click on the thing, and then you should be able to click vote. It should be that simple. Is that the right poll? Oh. These are the results. This one? Is that better? Ooh, Michael's got messages for me. Hell yeah! Okay. Here we go. Guess vote for last option. Yeah, should we do this again? If you want to see us do this again, vote for this one. I'm I'm definitely game, so I'll, I'll go ahead and vote for it. You already voted in the poll. Fuck. <laughs> We're already up to 10 votes. It's it's looking like a we should definitely do this again. Um also, here's here's another thing. Um uh, before we go, may I post uh, a no context pasta clip? Yeah, we'll take a look at it in a second. Chat. For the first time in my streaming career, I am inviting you to meet me in person. If you are interested in going to an event with me, uh, I'm going to be not hosting, but I'm going to be attending a Smash event in my hometown uh, run by Michael, of all people, because he's doing charity work. And uh, here it is. So for the, the Shoe Swap Family Center Smash Tournament, April 28th, um, $15 attendance entry fee, $5 entry fee for the tournament. So, if you're interested, there you go, it's at Sentinoka Mall. And, uh, there's a, there's a QR code in the bottom right. Prize pools based off attendance, and all proceeds will go to Youth Mental Health. Gaming for a cause. There you go. Uh, this will be available to look at further in my Discord. How many viewers, uh, are in your local area? Now. Not not too many. Like I probably I can count on one hand. But you know, if anybody wants to come down, feel free. It'd be great to to meet up with some people, do some gaming. Yeah, it's it's a it's a small handful of people. No passport. F. It's okay, Sky. I'm I'm just saying it's it's an option. I'm gonna see if I can get like some streaming gear together so that way we can we can stream the whole thing. But uh, you know maybe that won't happen. Maybe it'll just be recorded on my phone. We'll see. But um, you know that's coming up fast. So I think we better start training on melee. I think that's an important thing to do. Let's go ahead and look at Horatio's clip really quick here. This is pasta. Pasta is very funny. Your milk. Would you be fine with that trade? What? Kaka? I need to taste the product, right? <laughs> you gotta taste the product to make sure it's that it's... It's your own product. Have you not tasted your own product? What? Okay, but don't you like taste as you're cooking? Just to know that, uh -huh. hey, the whole, the whole time, right? You gotta uh -huh. taste it. Would you, if you were what milked the... every morning, but somebody sold your milk? Would you be fine with that trade? <laughs> okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. 
Alrighty. That's going to be it for now. Let's truck summon down a raid. Keep the good times rolling. Thank you all very much for being here with me. Uh, I appreciate you all a lot. And I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun today. Very cool to, to just do something weird out of the blue. If you ever have an idea for like a weird stream, throw it my way. Uh, sometimes I just like to freeball things and it's, it's cool. Maybe a stream like this could be a, a special event, but we're we're just goofing. Um, what do we got here? Luthamir on the Remnant 2 and Hyper on the Remnant 2. Look at that. Look at that. You know what? Hyper's doing fine. Let's go ahead and throw some love Luthamir's way. Please go and enjoy some Luthamir and Hyper Stifer X gaming. Uh, both fantastic content creators and uh, really cool people. So you, you will enjoy that immensely, I'm sure. Thank you all very much for hanging out once again. Thank you, Fury, for, for bringing a bunch of folks over this way. Catch you all next time. Remember, the, the Melee tournament information will be in the uh, Discord for anybody after it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all on Sunday. I think that's it. I think that's all I got. See you then. Probably with Noita. I'm gonna do some like tournament stuff. Should be fun. Theory, by the way, if you wanna do some like some shenanigans, now's the perfect time because I'm I'm planning on and doing a tournament. I'd love to have you in the invitational. I think it'd be super fun. Yeah. So hit me up and uh, we'll we'll plan some stuff out. You could you could commentate, you could PvP, whatever you want. Let's make it happen. All right. I'll catch you all later. Boop.